Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Shards of the Void, a fantasy adventure using GURPS 4th edition. We are the Kobold Cafe. As usual, I am Luke, the GM. Uh, today we've got Simon. Hello. Hello. We've got Orn. That is me. Played by Terra. Simon plays Sigmund. Yes. Jack, who made it? I am here. It's very rainy in California. Good to know. We got his location. Everyone get docs in. Ulrich. Hello there. Afternoon. Very good to see you, as usual. <laughs> Tabra, cutting in. We are giggling. Hello. I, hope. I uh, appreciated your berry pun. It was very tasteless. Spot. <laughs> Sorry, Obscuro Coxinaeus. Hey. Uh, Hello. I'm Demar, playing Obscuro, the Verse Alchemist. Oi, oi. So, without further ado, let's have a quick look. Uh, remember of where we were last time. The party split up, and we saw uh, Jakku and Orn go after the caravan that had fled or the slaves that had fled in the caravan uh, at the same time Sigmund, Tabra and Ulrig they just kind of grouped up didn't they they had a, a bit of a rummage through that house before heading back to the tavern having a fair bit to eat and drink dropping that little boy off with his tavern keeper dad who was so so grateful and Sigmund robbed the dead guy. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't rob the dead guy. I robbed the dead guy's chest. Who knows who that belongs to? A distinct to. difference. That's theft and not... Actually, if you kill somebody, you take stuff off their body. Well, Is you... that still theft? If you took his chest, that's, you know... Just... Dismember bit? Or something. Uh, and Spot met up with uh, Jakku and Orn as they were leaving the manor and he kind of observed as Jakku decapitated a fella yeah it's very I distracted him yeah I distracted the hell out of him mm -hmm. that you did uh but yeah let's uh look a bit more into detail now so it's the next day the morning uh probably about 9 a.m is the earliest that You'd all have what? got your full sleep. Why, why is what Jack time did we get bed? back? Actually, that I've got an important question. What time did we get back? You didn't get back till 3 a.m.-ish, quite late. What time okay, did you get back? Okay, so we probably you... spent... The others got back a lot earlier, more like uh, midnight. So Jakku would have time to get out of there before Sigmund even wakes up. Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. Not much sleep. I only on require Jacko. four hours of sleep, so I'm actually up and already. I didn't think of that when I I went and slept in that bed last night. <laughs> yeah, and why is Lee in the cart? Uh, she went out with Orn. Uh, as you wake up, your first thought would probably be, "Why the hell is Lee not?" In the bed yeah, next to like, me. Yeah, like, did she, did she tell me? Because she should know that that's a big fucking red flag. Because, <laughs> you, know, you know what happened the last time that happened? She got kidnapped. Uh, ain't, ain't good shit. She did not tell you. But I imagine she's, like, at the bar now. They grow up so quickly. <laughs> nah, that's good. It's, uh... Sigmund will walk out of his room <coughs> and at least get himself some, uh, some breakfast, yeah. There's plenty of breakfasts on offerings. They've got bacon, they've got eggs. Two things I can't eat. They've got horse meat, they've got... <laughs> they got well, plenty of horse meat. There is lots of horse meat. But is it that, like, decayed flesh horse meat? Uh, no, no, there's... No, it only died yesterday. There's good horse meat. That's true, yeah. That's good horse meat, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the good horse meat. It's unrefrigerated for like a week. Like as long as you keep it clean. You just gotta cut off the like uh, bubbly, weird 
green, pink, moldy parts, and you're good. You're golden. Just slice them right off, rest of it's fine. Put enough salt on it, no one will know. So, but seriously, are they serving anything that is plant-based? Ah, uh, you'll get you some vegetables at. Probably a little, uh, salad-y thing. Or stew. More vegetable stew from yesterday. That pot never runs out. It's a hidden legendary artifact. The fucking pot that never runs out of vegetable stew. Actually, there's the concept of a perpetual stew, which is a pot where you just throw things in and you never empty it all the way. You just add in more ingredients and more liquid as you need to. Yeah. Um, to quote so... Wikipedia, the concept is a common <laughs> element in descriptions of medieval inn. Put you. So put it was you like a modern deep smart fryer. Phone away, Sabra. <laughs> it is a modern deep fryer. It's like a modern deep fryer. You never replace the oil and like it, like at a fast food place once for three months if it's like McDonald's. Uh -huh. You can taste when the oil needs changing. <laughs> I have a. Works for cars too. We haven't we haven't replaced our oil in our deep fryer in a, in a while here. Uh, but right. you have a home deep fryer. Uh, yeah, we have like a home fryer. It's like this small. Uh, We're digesting. He lives in the south. Yeah, like I live. <laughs> he lives I live in, in the, the south. south. Yeah, like what are you like? What are you talking <laughs> like about? that is the home of frying shit. Yeah, like that's that's where you get. Uh, we tried chicken and waffles for the first time not too long ago. Uh, is it good? Oh, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's great. Slather some maple syrup on that. It was an A plus. Mm -hmm. uh, it, but yeah, it, it, the best thing to do with a home deep frying fryer, funnel cakes. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, but, uh, but we yeah, digest. Like a, yeah, like yes, we digest. To, Incredible sorry. digest. I digest. I would yes. love to digest some chicken and waffles right now. That'd be great. Morning, Papa. Did you sleep all right? Did I sleep all right? Where my nightmares okay? I'm not sure. Uh, what's your what's your control rating? What's uh, it's default, which is oh we you say it all the time. You what slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. All right. Sounds good to me. Yeah, like uh, Jack who knows. Who knows? Because he crept in and slept in Leah's bed by accident. <laughs> The hunters are uh, all up. They'll nod, nod at you. Morning, sir. Morning. Should there be an excess of slaves hanging out somewhere? Uh, they all went back to the wagon. Okay. They oh, there they are. To be in beaten awake at very early hours, and they kind of all woke, woke up expecting that and just went to the wagon. And. Uh, I would have let them know on my way out that they uh, their baths are paid for. We no bath. <laughs> no need for bath. Waste on slave. Not slave anymore, Chifo. Take a bath. Oh, I think the innkeeper yeah, probably yeah. put a big tin bath in the stable. Mm. And they they like looking at it now, just like, oh, is soap and water not deadly combination? No, it's not a deadly combination. Just, you're fine. I even got heat. I even paid for the heating for it. Get them oh. while it's still warm. Oh, and yeah, there'll be a bunch of naked slaves getting all sudsy in there. Oh yeah, we cut chains and shit off of them, right? Like those yeah, are... yeah, yeah. I imagine you uh, took off the neck manacles. If you didn't, it'd be very awkward. Did the uh, last guy pick a name for himself? Uh, Laos. I think he, he would have done by now. Where's your slaves? Your free peoples. My mistake. Uh, jewel, ox, and pudding. They would have been pressing him when they woke up. You have to choose a name now, Laos. Last night, Laos had a dream. I'm not sure what it involved, though. Did he dream a dream of time gone by? He did. Hope uh, must have been high then. I, I was hoping he was going to dream a little dream of me. Feather? How about Feather? Feather. He dreamt he could fly. 
Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, Tamrison, the elder of the hunters, would be looking over at you. It's like, uh, you'll be, you'll be heading into into town then. I to explain to the guard what happened to uh, Mr. Burke. I left a note. You did leave a note. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that as I have my bucket of gemstones that I'm nibbling on. Where, where did you come across those? Where are you right now? Over there. Oh, from the, uh, from my cart. I did not see your cart yesterday. It's in there now. How? Is, is that a lie? No. Uh, they came back in the car that the slaves had run off with. Isn't that Burke's cart, though? No, that was, a. Uh... That was the car belonging to the wizards. Oh, fuck them. Yeah, who cares? I have a cart and four ox now. So we stole a bunch of gems from the wizards, and we also took a lot of money from the dead guy. So, you know, at least we're nothing if not consistent. Hey, the gems are not for selling. Hey, the money isn't for selling, it's for buying. You gotta be careful about taking that wealth, though. Just are, you are you guys? Is that? Are you, were you guys in character there? No. <laughs> Sigmund, no. Sigmund isn't saying that. Okay, oh, okay. You, you can tell if your voices aren't distinct enough when you're in oh, character. I'm sorry. But, uh. But uh, if you're heading into town, then we would much appreciate a ride if you have a wagon with the space for us. What with our horses being killed, we'll need to pick more up. Kavex is just a short. It'd be a day's walk, but with a with a wagon, it'd be much uh, a much nicer journey. Do you have room for us? Uh, do we have room for us? Uh, you can fit one driver plus nine occupants in that wagon. So uh, me, Lee, Jack, you, Tabra. I don't count. Does Ev's character Six. count as two people? at least yeah so that's, okay so we're that's a little nice. overloaded yeah. but i mean jaku could walk jaku's used to walking he has S no problem walking spot will definitely be walking tabra walks over to jaku although what? i i got to uh uh clarify as well jaku did not actually say any of that yeah that's What did you find in the cart of the wizards? Uh... Roll understanding. <laughs> nope. Um, what? That's a... Success uh, five. Yeah, it... you, you get that. Oh, wait! It's not the minus three. I forgot. Yeah, that minus three is just to, like... Haven't you been with, like... Skill. Tabra for how long so you can't understand him consistently there's a little bit of wait what okay the, the uh, minus three is to skills that require languages to understand uh, you just need a successful iq check perfect uh slaves we find slaves and gem bucket bucket of gem and then point over at the uh the god fuck what are they called dethovian dethovian point over at the dethovian i was gonna call it dothraki I'm like that's not right <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh don't sue us hbo um i got letter yesterday don't worry about it okay um, gesture towards her eating the stones, and, uh, we, we, we find 
note letter written i think he said go to kavath ah, i Quebec. wish to go there kavexa kavexa correct it, it won't it you found a letter <laughs> yeah written written no and then point back at the, the rock Dithovian. munching rocks the dithovian dithovian is spot in here i'm just curious as to at the table. what spot maybe thinks watching <sighs> the ditho if he sees the dithovian eating the bucket of rocks Yeah, he is. Him. That's that's probably quite interesting right. to you in particular, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just uh, that's just something I noticed about Spot that made me laugh a lot. I'll demonstrate it for the, uh, the people cheating at home with me. I <laughs> uh, also I have um, I have a bag that's stuffed with stuff on me now. That's very descriptive. Tied to my back. It's, uh, you can see a... <laughs> you my can tooth. see some bronze graves, a halberk, and a longbow, and I'm, like, seeking fine. How are you carrying fine. that? Legit, I am how are not you carrying, carrying it well. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be heavy. Just, just it added it to Sigmund. Like... That's Ovian. <laughs> I have a name. What is your name, Dethovian? I told you, but it's Orn. I don't think Tyra was ever told. I, I this said This is it. the first time he's directly spoken to Orn. Uh, okay. But I, 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 anyway. Very That's what well. she says anyway. Orn. I am under, I am led to understand that you and Jaku found many things in the wagon that he went to recover, including a note. Mm-hmm. I am asking you if I can see this note. Uh, yeah, I'll pull it out of my, um, uh, payload. Mm -hmm. Basically, I reach inside a crevice in myself and pull out a note. Aye, aye. You having a look at that there note? Indeed. It's addressed to Mr. Burke. Uh, Mr. Burke, I have received the item that you wish for me to secret for you. I can assure you it will be in good hands with me. Should you need to discuss anything with me, ask for me at... Duran's Cobblers in Kavexa. Yours faithfully, Aloin Goodbody. And then there's a... That, that's it, his signature. But, uh... Taru will hand the note back. Jacko has expressed interest in accompanying you to Kavexa. I shall also join... Okay. Can I see the book? What book? Yeah, I don't think you know about any book, do you? Uh, oh. Or, did... uh, oh. You know I don't... about something, but you wouldn't oh, know that. What was in the hidden? What was in the hidden thingy? It wasn't even it, hidden, it was just there. No, they, they were a false bottom in a drawer. Oh, false bottom, okay. What was in what thingy? You must be the precise with how you speak. in the desk. You know, the, the false bottom? There was a book there. <gasps> book? Can I see it? A powerful book that must be kept in the hands of someone responsible. I'm responsible. Let me see it. Let me see it. Leah's stroking you, Jacku. She <sighs> tried to be sneaky about it, but you notice. She's just like... 
found a patch of fur and she's like touching it gently. She's like, Lee, that's rude. Soft. Sorry. Is it? Ah, uh, she's. It's not like a condescending sort of thing. Like she's a kid, right? Uh huh. She she's like fifteen, sixteen. Uh yeah, so she's not that much of a kid. But I'm and sure she's it's about as old as Jack. But, but still, you know, <laughs> if you if you're out in public, you don't want somebody randomly coming up to you and starting to stroke your cheek or something like that. It's just well, weird. yeah, but uh, I I I also realize that chummy is one of my traits. So like, at this point, I've actually like gone and done stuff with her so i think i'm okay with that i bet bunnies are always constantly like grooming each other back in yeah Asana. yeah like it i i just feel like their society is that's fair but sigmund and lee don't know jack shit about bunny society <laughs> <laughs> park and we well, go yeah. to town with Owen. Oh, I thought you were laughing at yourself. <laughs> all, all I could see was go to town on Orn, and all I saw was just like fucking a phrasing. Park. <laughs> yeah. Park, can we go to town on Orn? <laughs> I mean, with Orn, phrasing and what have you. Do you do phrasing in Asuna, Mister Usagi? Ulrich, she calls over. Uh, she she talks to me, and I go, okay. <laughs> Actually, you probably go. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you actually speak in alien tongues and carve eldritch broods into our brain. But she legit just turns. She's like, Ulrich. Uh, you you see him like, his ears perk up. He's writing on some parchment. Mm -hmm. What are Looks you? Up. What are you writing? Oh, I'm just coming up with a new song. Oh, can I have a look? Mm -hmm. I'm guessing yeah, you're writing sure. in Ursarin. It's actually on Mithen. Oh, uh, sure. He is wasn't. He's not sure if he gets the right uh, the right accent on it, but it's written on his uh, new spell. Uh -huh. If you want to know the lyric, what he has written so far, well, he will well, show well. it to Leah in his true cursive mitten form. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, that, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say is uh, is Tabra still talking to Orn? Yeah, I, I cut into that just a little bit. Just a bit. <laughs> I I just want the book. Yeah, what um, book? I was gonna ask, um, is it obvious that Orn is really, really young? I'm small. Yeah, but for the race, does small equal young? Yes. Usually. The book should only be handled by someone with experience, child. I'll have you know, I worked for years as a librarian. And I served for decades as advisor to a king. Yeah, let me see the book. Let me put the book, 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 book. Tabru will walk away. I let you see the letter. <laughs> oh, I'm stealing that book. Wow. I'm that, that can only, yeah, that that can only go out well. That that book brings out the worst in uh, mortals' souls. <laughs> it's like Hitler's painting. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's I frankly, don't, I don't like that book, Charlie. It's <laughs> some, evil. Someone, someone who obsesses over books uh, has been denied access to a book. I've had enough of this, dude. We should stop before we always start talking about always sunny quotes. Uh, uh Birth. Ura, I'll speak over to you. Hi. Good morning. morning. Did you decipher anything from Mr. Burke's body last night when you were inspecting it? Uh, 
N no. Oh, very well. I, I was just taking a few beats out. Uh, which bits? Uh, a little bit of blood, nails, some tendons. And you're certain that this was necessary? Yes. Yes, I, I need the ingredients. Will we be able to transport the body on your wagon, Verth? We should take him back to town, at the very least. Oh, well, it's not my wagon, sir. Oh, yeah, he meant to say death. He, yeah, I had him turn to talk to Orn. <laughs> to Orn. <laughs> uh, sure, it's a little crowded with all the books. Very well, but at the very least, we'll need to report this to the town's watch. It's quite a serious situation that seems to have happened here. I'll be able to get as an audience with the Lord, and I imagine he'll want to speak with everyone involved. Which Lord? Lord Kyrgyzak the Ninth. Why do we do need I, to talk to a lord? Do I know the high society or politics? Current affairs. Should I? Did you ask? Because that? a crime has been committed, loud, angry man. <laughs> I, That's the I reason. I wasn't saying that in character, but okay. Uh, politics or high society? Uh, either. Politics would be well, better. The same thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is the current lord of a fair patch. It's everything like kind of south of this river, the River Kavexa. down to Shifton and then technically east all the way to Bayham. Okay. Uh, he's meant to keep watch over the north as well, uh, but that is just like a huge, huge leap to Stansbury and most of that area is pretty much wild. But uh, he's that family's been in charge for a long time at Kavexa. Uh, like, Kyrgyzak I was a knight in service of the first king of Mitha. Which was uh, 952 years ago? Uh, a bit after that. Uh, it weren't right at the start, it were as it had got in a little bit. Maybe about 800 years ago. But I will need to report all this to the Lord. My voice changes every time I speak. It's because I'm old and strange. Where's the Russian? He did. He used the sacrifice to fix Bear's penis. <laughs> 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 uh, so Jaku is going to order five meals. Aye. All on the house, oh. as you know. Oh, yeah. S Sigma orders two breakfasts as well. Ulrich will ask for two meals and much drinking. Oh, much no. I, 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 I ask for them, like, wrapped up. Dude, it's 9 a.m. 
And yes, I managed to ask for five meals wrapped to go. The hunters are all drinking ale with the breakfasts. And I was thinking we just just eat his meals per day. Like that's what that's what he just need. They'll bring you. Oh yeah, and I wrapped. order uh, yeah. hot water as well. Uh, mm -hmm. actually, I've probably been sitting here long enough that he's got a stream of hot water coming for me. They had the hot water ready for you this morning. <laughs> that just that just amuses me. You know, he likes hot water, guys. We need some in the morning. That's what he needs. But then, uh... It's, it's easy enough. Yeah, the leader of the hunting party just says straight up, we'll need to be setting off as soon as it's a full day's travel to Kavexa. I was about to say the same thing. Tambor will walk up to the uh, bar. Oi, oi. Morning, Ascada. Ale? Good morning. Do you have any sweet wines? Uh, I we got some padst wines under the bar here. Let's see. Do you have any duskberry? That's a interesting request. Uh, it just so happens we do. And then he yeah he'll pull out a slightly dusty bottle. There you go, sir. Normally uh, a sheaf for the bottle, but thanks again for bringing back my boy last night and all the good you've done for us is on the house. Many thanks to you. You're all welcome does, here does anytime. Does he bring the whole bottle? Yeah. Uh, Adding a... that to inventory, uh, how large is it? Uh, 70 centiliters. <laughs> so... Okay, 700 milliliters. 0.7 liters. And how many Scoville is that? Uh, I believe Scoville is a unit of... Physical... Spiciness. Yeah, physical heat sensation. Yes, yeah, it... There's Zero. A perceptual thing. <laughs> Oh, it's that dramatic moment in the calm music. The dustberry wine going into the bag. Ta da! Dustberry oh, yeah. wine! <laughs> How many <laughs> drinks worth is in there? Uh, I guess I'll have one before. Like six. Six GURPS drinks in a bottle of dustberry wine of that size. If you took. So I think the... Jaku. Go on, Jaku, sorry. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Jaku's gonna go over to the fire and don his uh, armor again. I'm sure he, like, before he went to bed, you know, he put it up next to the fire so it could dry, and now he's gonna rub it with some oil real quick and throw it back on. Mm -hmm. Is it, uh, it's like stiffened leather armor? Uh, mail. It is chain mail. Oh, you've got chain mail. Oh, nice. Mm. Ching, ching. But they'll gear up. Because <clears throat> I'm sure all of Jaku's equipment is very well taken care of. Oh yeah, meticulous. Got like an hour at the end of every day where you just lay everything out in front of you and finesse it. <laughs> but so yeah, uh, Orn's gonna drag the crap she got back into the cart. Uh, Probably make Sigmund, a very loud noise. Sigmund actually wanted to go talk to Tabra. Like, oh. Did he did he introduce himself to Sigmund? I can't remember. Yeah, last night you were talking Tabra about Tabra has it. thrown his name around, yeah. <laughs> That's fair. In which case, while everybody's getting ready to go, uh, Sigmund walks over and is like, you, Tabra. Yes. I need to talk to you in private. Very well. Ooh. They don't kiss. <laughs> so once they uh, step into this room, uh, Sigmund does uh, shut the door behind them and looks up. It's 
So you said you know who Lee, or sorry, what Lee is. Yes. Describe it for me. Better detail. Any what all do you know you of magic? Little to nothing. The power of the moons gives magic to our world. And it is through this true. that there exist places where magic is at its strongest. In these places, a mage can command far more magical energy than could ever be dreamed of. Your girl is the locus of one of these hot spots of magic. Did you say locus or lotus? Locus. Okay. Now, Open in my one, dictionary. A particular position, point, or place. Yeah, yeah, it's. I just needed to discern what he said if it was a low kill, like Lopez or Locus. Yeah, she's a locust of magic. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, he'll he'll nod to that, and he just says, uh, "And uh, how would you go about keeping one of those safe?" Generally, they are locations and not people. In such cases, they are usually fortified. They are guarded by the mages who regularly use them. In your case, she can be identified by any sufficiently skilled mage who yeah, goes I, near her. I discern that. Aside from locking her away, there is no solution. He just kind of like scratches at his chin. Um, oh. mm -hmm. If she can be deferred by any magical person, would I be able to notice or she has to kind of you would have to uh, sense energy for it. Yeah, you'd, oh. you'd need to cast a, a spell that gave you information. If you touched her, though, you probably would notice it. Ah. Uh, potentially. She's oh, probably sure pet, petted the bear's fur before. She most likely has, actually. Uh, roll me thaumatology skill, please. Of course. Uh, in this case, singing, or the uh, actual thaumatology? Actual thaumatology. Yeah, you'd, you'd have definitely picked up, like, crackling of magical energy. Hmm. You might have just, like, passed it off before, but definitely when she were over there looking at your poem, uh, she would have stroked you a bit on the sly, and you would have sensed it then that there's magical power coming off that girl. So it would not just be inspiration. There's actual uh, raw magic coming from her. Uh, in a sense, yeah. You'd you'd have been to a place of power before, likely as well, and and it is exactly like that. It's as if she is a ritual casting ground herself when she touches you. Got it. Uh, he will remember that. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure the horse meat's plenty good for the bear, isn't it? It should be. Yeah, they've, uh, they would Mostly because of the big portions. He would like to buy some milk. Uh, on the house. As for everyone. Well, to take away. He wants to know how many barrels he can gain with 35 ulster chips, a copper piece, and a silver sheaf. Uh, Are you just gonna carry a bunch of barrels of ale? Because the cart's <laughs> kind of full. No, I'm gonna put them on the carriage and I'm gonna walk with the rest while uh, I play. Okay. Um, we're we're loaded in the carriage to begin with. Yeah, like there's already uh like books and shit in that I, carriage. I think I, you, I, I was these... not hoping it would be more than yeah. two. Like there a smaller no cask. Room. We about uh, they, they could you do you a kinda... little cask. We about thirty drinks with her ale in. Uh huh. Uh, and just the, they'll just take the silver sheaf and do you that. Sure, he'll 
Pack it up with your stuff. One cask. Uh, it's probably got close to like 50 drinks in it, actually. Uh, I'm not sure how much it's that It's a weighs. mini keg! <laughs> it, it is. It's a mini keg. How much would you say it weights? I'm just looking a that lot. up now. It's a mini keg. And, well, I, I, mean, I can handle it. <laughs> have you ever lifted a gallon of water? Yes, and I can. And then full? It's yes. When you, uh, when you fill shit up, you get like a... Like a gallon jug, well not gallon jug, what's, what's what? It's here. a big strong bear, he can handle it. That's true, yeah, he does have better strength. Lifting strength is 18. <laughs> Fucking stacked. Lifting strength is 17, I forgot how stupid I made Sigmund's lifting strength. <laughs> Why am I not seeing this? Ah, there we go. Containers and storage. Do you know the volume of the container? Uh, a hogshead. How much is that? Like a gallon? A couple of gallons? I don't it's even know. It's 238 how much a gallon liters, is. and a liter is one kilogram, so it's 238 kilograms. Yeah, not that big. It's It'd be like a 10 kilograms worth. So, weight of 10? Uh, plus the container. 22 pounds, because Gerbs uses pounds. There you go, yeah. So it'd be like 24 pounds total. 24, okay. There we go. Bye, aye. The hunters Anyhow. all gear up pretty fast. And I think Orn's had the slaves get the cart ready. Not slaves. <laughs> Helpers. Unpaid. No, they've been the paid. The voluntary unpaid. They're paid. Oh. <laughs> with freedom. Oh, that's right. That's right. No, with monies. I'm paying them. <laughs> a nickel a week. Pretty much. But that's a lot for them. <laughs> they met two thirds of the way. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was fucking terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one was real bad. Oh boy. Someone clip it quick. But. Oi oi, everyone about getting ready. Spot, have you said much else? I know you were playing around with some interesting things you found in that uh, wagon last night. I'm guessing you just put those away when you were done. Yeah, I think he spent the night um, making alchemy stuff. Mm hmm. Verse do not sleep, so. There as you go. But yeah, the hunters are all kind of waiting outside. Leo will have grabbed the stuff and probably climbed inside the cart for sure. Yeah. At this point, uh... What do we got? I'm gonna send the cart to the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, to the front. You're all crawling underneath. Oh, you thought the cart was gonna be like a typical cart? Nope, you're crawling under and holding onto the railings there. Have fun. Yeah, it's fancy. Pray you don't hit a ditch. Ha has the and rain please swallow let this, up? Yeah. Please swallow this white baggie of powder. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'll hold it. I'm fucking running, pal. With it. Uh, but yeah, the rain stopped last night while you were on your way back. and it's, Oh, that's right. That's it's right, uh, yes. sunny today. It's, it's a nice spring morning. It's birds whistling. Um, what have you, there's flowers blooming. Spring is in the air for sure. And um, yeah, it. Uh, but, 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 humans would have had to, or people who need eight hours sleep, would have had to go to bed at about 1 a.m. to have been up by now. Uh,. So Tabra and Sigmund are fine. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone's fine, except for Orn. How much sleep do you need? 
Uh, I need full, but I'm going to take a nap. Okay, yeah, so you're a bit low on sleep right now, but you'll be able uh, to... Technically, GURP says that you only get FP back from that, from an actual full sleep cycle. Mm. I didn't lose FP, so... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're mostly okay. You might just be a bit... You might want yeah, to you nap know, on like, that. He, it's just one of those things where I notice it in the books, so I'm like, huh... That's th a little bit more brutal than I thought. What do you, you mean HP? Because you get FP every 10 minutes. Uh, not from FP you lose through sleep cycles. Yeah, if you FP from missed sleep can only be recovered from getting actual, a full like night's sleep. sleep. Cycles. Yeah, yeah and, but no, n Orn wouldn't have lost FP from missed sleep. No, yeah, she, she yeah, didn't no, that's lose any different. FP from missed sleep. Yeah, no, it's just if anybody lost, like, an hour in their sleep cycle or something, you get a penalty to your FP. And you could only get that back from a full night. I whistle. <laughs> Leah's out of there. No, no! <laughs> Actually, if it's sunny, Jaku will totally walk, but he will also come to the wagon and throw a bag in it. That checks out. Yeah, like Sigma throws all of his traveling supplies in there. You would see all the fancy shit now that you're in there, Tabra. You'd notice the there is an alchemy kit and a general charm making kit, the portable types in there. The so alchemy the kit is not have. ours. The what charm kit is no better than this? what I have then. Oh, have you already got a traveling, traveling charm kit? Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise you can't make charms. <laughs> Fair dues. Oh, um, where did you get this? I found it. You found an entire cart. Mm-hmm. Full of valuables. Did you not see the cart that the slaves ran off in? It belonged to the wizards. So this is the slaves' cart. Got it. The wizards' cart. Mm -hmm. I and claimed the it in the dead. name of Orntopia. <laughs> We're not calling it Orntopia. It is now the sovereign land of Orntopia. Mm -hmm. That's cute. This is the mighty chariot of Orntopia. <laughs> I cannot decide who is worse. After a while, you learn to toot it all out. They Just ignoring the, the dig at him? Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> the only thing that would make it worse if he took the bait there and actually gave that insult attention. But yeah, looks like everyone's ready, and you just get down to your journey. Get down to the funky sound? Yeah. That is right. Won't you take me to fucking town? Innkeeper and family will be out waving you off. As you cart. Is away. it sunny outside? Yeah. I would have, oh, um, yeah, by the way. It is. <laughs> you probably really don't want to go out that door, do you, Verf? Yeah, I'll have to like put on my tent. <laughs> you have a tent? Maybe you could ride inside a the cart. <laughs> That's actually a good question. Is it like a hooded cart? Like what kind of cart is it? Looks it, like it. It would it be sheltered like from the sun. But I would be vomiting my insides. Yeah. Would it would it be hooded even with the sun out? It, it'd be fine, but the Verth do not do well in vehicles like carts, boats. You you see I... him turn at you and as Are you alright, little one? Yeah, yes, I, I just I just have to put this on. I, I don't like the sun. Do you need me to cover you with something? Perhaps I could use a table. <laughs> Are you gonna carry a table all the way over there over my head? I could always put it back. I, I, I have the stand that I hold up. I just need to get the sticks in place. <laughs> oh god. And he'll, he'll still offer to carry one like an umbrella. I've already seen how Spot dies. It's a windy day. 
but the sun's <laughs> out. A windy day in the desert. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> You're an apothecary. You will get to sunscreen eventually. Costs character points. <laughs> yeah. Signature gear. <laughs> and you can only take sorry. that at the character no, creation no, stage. Sorry, be a gizmo, technically. He goes out with this kind of a uh, uh, makeshift umbrella. Mm hmm. With a blanket on top. Mm hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to go. There's still a dead horse here. Uh, yeah. There is. I didn't move it. It would have been moved. Stop There's still it. a Jesus dead guy still. right here. Where's the dead guy? Oh yeah, Thomas Burke. They left him there for safekeeping. But he's getting on your car, <laughs> isn't he? Like, oh, oh, there he goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh that's, that's even worse, because it's gonna, it's gonna smell absolutely wrong. Uh, oh yeah. I am definitely not getting in that cart. They've wrapped him up. Yeah. See if it's that walking around unless he has to. Good thing you don't have a there. nose, little man. <laughs> Here, carry my barrel with you. He just basically uh, will ask if he can put the barrel on the cart. If there's enough space. If there's room to stick that small barrel on cart, it only weighs three okay. pounds. I think they oh, throw Mr. No, Burke's shrouded no. body over an ox. I think the body, like, we could come and grab, like, this ladder right here hitch it to the back of the cart just like drag drag it sled yeah that, that works <laughs> well, like as everybody's like debating what to do about the body like Jaku doesn't necessarily get what people are saying so he just like goes into the maybe even like grabs the bear and does the the no wait trust the bear Jaku just goes into the uh, shed and grabs this and comes out and, like, lays it down and gestures at it. Whoop, I'm, I'm bringing a door your way. That's not what I wanted. Has anyone got carpentry? Not tying? <laughs> no. Uh, carpentry. what is it you are attempting to do? I'll just say in bunny language. Mithen. Oh no, Mithen. No, yeah? Mithen. Yep. Sled, tie, cart, body. Do you have rope? Uh, would it be like fishing? Like tying a knot on a... <laughs> no. 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 Uh, there is rope in the cart. What was it? Carpentry? What else? Yeah, I'll, I'll just like grab the rope and... Uh, knot tying if you want to... Knot tying. Rope it up. Okay. I'm gonna have to get that skill. <laughs> I mean, it's a DX easy skill. I'll just put a point in it real quick. Actually, no, that'd only be 11. That'd be an absolute waste. <laughs> Good need it for that. Take a bit of time. What's, what's the default? Uh, DX minus 4, climbing minus 4, or seamanship minus 4. Hmm. I think I'd also allow a team to tech check. I get. No, that will all be fixed. Uh, the slave take... could easily do it. Not the slave. Uh, Feather. Feather could do it super easy. Not Feather. The driver was uh, Ox, weren't it? Yes. Or... yes. Yeah. Ox could do it easy. But he's just waiting Jaku to drive. Jaku will fail. Can we go? Can anyone tie a knot? Uh, Clamby minus four. Christ almighty, okay, fine. <laughs> nope. Big, strong paws. Ox just ties it straight on. It's like... Oh, someone else is already tying it? Cool, great. <laughs> just... 
J Jaku just starts kind of getting like a little upset and mumbling in Usagi. <laughs> what is he mumbling? He can't tie a knot either. He's like, tie your arms together. Jaku and Eva. You you both like tie you tie yourselves together. I honestly think that that's less of a Was was the rope tied? Do do I do I still need to spend a point for this? Are are we okay? It depends if no, you want not tying. <laughs> spend the point in not tying and take like take extra time times two, yeah. But Ox, can you tie not? He'd I have already tied knots. Oh, please oh. don't hurt Ox. He's like, don't beat Ox. <laughs> he totally is our slave. <laughs> He's not our s He's acting like a slave. Ox is yeah, sorry, he's masters. And, and then Jaku will literally just start going in the direction. Like, alright, I'm done. Let's go. Ox. And it sets off at, you know, walk in pace <laughs> but it's about as fast as it goes yeah the, the body's tied down let's not worry about that say, body yeah, any longer than it's gonna be rolling off by a dearie's name let's go you all, sorry my voice cracked there <clears throat> i still need my sore throat to get over you all are the most impatient bunch i've ever met <laughs> It's true. And at that, I think it's a good time for a commercial break where you'll hear from all of our commercial. sponsors. Commercial break. Ah, that's correct. Hold on, take my badge real quick. Gotta go to commercial break. <laughs> but uh, aye, we will be returning shortly. Five minutes at the most.
Now leave. <laughs> wow! We're back. Why are we so mean? We are so mean. You caught us on the tail end of some severe meanness there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the journey's underway. These roads are pretty nice. Not much to say about them. Uh, the car goes along fairly smooth. Uh, let's see how Ox is doing. He is he's driving good. No problem. It's hard to get lost as well. There's like pretty much a single road. There's more farms that you'll pass throughout the day. Uh, do you stop to eat? Do you eat on the move? We have rations, right? Yeah. I have a bucket. C congratulations, you have a feed bucket. Jakku like got some food wrapped up from there. I'm pretty sure you got some wrapped up as well, Sigmund. Yeah, I have ration boxes. And worst comes to worst, if we need to stop to actually eat, I can just roll survival. Tabra has magic. <laughs> Upon stopping to eat, he'll go ahead and cast Create Meal. Do you want me to do that? Uh, yeah. Yes, please. Let's see you magically make some food. Let's see how you fail horribly. Yeah. Uh... One moment, I need to check the conversion rate of something. A botched meal. <laughs> Crit fail, a demon. Summon. Yeah, I don't want a quirky <laughs> meal. Crit fail, you actually summon an ancient Samaritan demon that warps reality in your living room. Yeah, a quirky meal would be a bit, a bit a nuisance. <laughs> summon a slime. I'm not finding the uh, conversion ratio for FP and HP anywhere. It's a uh, three, isn't it, per energy? Okay, yes, voluntary sacrifice. Two HP or three FP. Okay. Hmm. How much longer do we have in our journey? Uh, it's a full day journey. You'd probably stop uh, a bit after noon to eat. The Verth would be able to climb inside the caravan. Oh, I, I stop a couple of times and eat, like, Uh, Luke, with the way that magic, like, you know how much energy energy, energy you've gathered after each attempt. Which uh -huh. means you can cancel it if you get bad energy at the start. Like, if your first roll is, is horrible, you can try again until you get a good first roll. Uh, I think so. I don't think that's a problem. it just take longer because of it. Yeah, just... Once people start talking about eating, he'd just kind of lean back, concentrate, and go until he got a nat natural roll. Let's see, minus five for the magic thingy. For the low mana, until he got a natural roll of um, seven, and then he'd give up also um, six FP. Fair bit. And then he'd use his full reserve. And he would create 10 pounds of food if this roll. Oh shit, 10 pounds. Is this like flash cooking? Flash food summoning. What kind of food is it? Hmm. Well, I just invented dusk berries a little while ago. Durians. Could you explain what dusk berries are to me? Because uh... you rolled with that. It's like a blackberry. Do you have blackberries we, in... We had to change fruit to be special. The the Canada's. I know that uh, the USA doesn't have blackberries because they carry a pine disease, I think it is, that were wiping out your trees. Wait, they, they don't... You, they don't have, you don't have blackberries? Uh, we do... We in sell blackberries at stores. I oh, don't know not, what you're talking not about. blackberries. Uh... Duskberries? What is Wait, it? Dustberries are fictional. Yeah, Black like what birds? what are you what are you talking about here? I'm not sure. There's Ribena's made after it in the UK. Let's see. Cranberries? No, they got cranberries. No, we we have cranberries. Nobody likes them. Black currant. <clears throat> Black currant. No idea what's that. Yeah, they're that 
that does that sound a bit right for a bland but filling meal like a black currant based pie with like i don't know like veggies and a bit of eh, no meat but something else for protein mixed uh, yeah black currants right. are pretty sweet um, they tasty berry yeah he makes a whole thing like kind of more like shepherd's pie style with them okay no meat in it 10 pounds of it oh yeah big old vegetably beansy baked looking dish pops into existence a lot of it did you also summon containers or is it all just flopping on the floor um i assume there's some sort of some form of dish someone has you'd find a lot have... in the back of the car as well but oh cool then i don't have to wash mine hell yeah yeah he'll just plop it into a pot aye aye anyone who doesn't only eat meat is sorted I'm gonna roll a I'm gonna roll a geology check. <laughs> Looks over at the bear who is a carnivore. Well, I did took some slices of meat from the plate that uh, uh -huh. before I went out. They'd have loaded you up with horse meat because they had more than they could deal with after those two got killed. Awesome! So it's a side dish. Horse meat. So you have unpreserved horse meat with you. Yeah, I wish I had salt. So it has to go quickly. <laughs> Gotta roll a housekeeping or a uh, or a cooking check to make sure you don't get salmonella. Uh, let me see. Can you get salmonella okay. from horse meat? Actually, it, I'm pretty could... sure it's only birds. You, you can get salmonella from a lot of things. Yes, oh, I wow. know enough not to fuck up. Yeah, I think you. Can you get salmonella? From I believe salmonella is normally due to the practices with the way you keep the meat rather than. Yeah, contaminated with the feces of animals or humans carrying the bacteria, which is an issue with our industrial farming, but not an issue with some horse that was killed by some wizards. Well, apparently the main contaminant... Oh, yeah. The, there are actually places on Earth where people eat raw chicken. Ew. And it's okay. I had chicken sashimi in Japan. Yeah, I just, it apparently looks like the main contaminant for unprepared horse meat is actually salmonella. <laughs> But, uh, anyway, <laughs> yeah. we digested okay. again some so salmonella. We get to... I'm pretty sure it will be we cool. all the time. So it, we avoid the salmonella part. <laughs> A anyhow, so unless anything actually important happens, we get to Kavex. Hi. Uh, around Whoa. late evening. So, Huge. like, after dusk. Uh, I think the sun's just setting. It's dusk now. Okay. Uh, the monastery is not actually pictured on this map. Uh, it's a bit off to the south. Uh, but that would be the first thing you see as you're cresting hills and coming into town. It's a huge abbey-like building, uh, all made out of stone. Um, you almost definitely see a few clergy knocking about in the grounds as you go past. You can also see big old fields, uh, crops all around. It looks like the clergy are actually farming stuff as well. Has anyone got religion or stuff like that? There's plenty I of do. symbols on the church. Nope. Religion, religion, religion. Knowledge. Just gotta find the damn thing. I think it's knowledge religion. Uh, theology, possibly. Theology. Theology. That's yes. It. Theology. Boop. Uh -huh. By six. It's uh, Temple of Imgia. God of the above. Amgia. Mm. Who is that? Lame. What, they, what, what is their domain of? Uh, the above. It's uh, generally 
felt to be the afterlife for the good kind of thing. So heaven. It pretty much. MG is a big billy biscuit amongst the gods. A what, sorry? Big Billy Biscuit. A Charles in charge. <laughs> He's English. Give him some, <laughs> him some slack. Well regarded. <laughs> He's the big wet Billy. Oh, Dia is the true god. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. It's you and your gods. We've got the religion handout. Uh, not everyone will know all of this stuff, obviously. Orn probably knows, uh, and Lee, obviously, but he is not big on religion in the slightest. That is just something that's ever crossed his mind. Roydio, yeah. Leah would know that. She also is not religious at all, than I imagine. I mean, most people tend to model after their parents, so it really just depends on this case. If, they, if she just did it, suddenly, when they stopped at a town or something, he's like, Oh, I want to go to church. Because Sigmund would have been like, you could go to church if you want, but we're not going to stay here long. Mm. But by the way, for those who want to know, Odia is the god of science. The nerd god. <laughs> nerd god. But yeah, you're heading okay. up the road. Uh, no deal. You can see there's a few, like, uh, carpenters buildings it looks like and farmhouses south of town are, as you're approaching are things still open mm, no it looks pretty closed up now these don't really look like businesses either more like, like they probably sell from the market in town rather than from or here cottage industry uh they make cottages Cottage cheese. What's this uh, enticing bowl of white over here? No? No one's seen that season? Okay, fair dues. It were another oh, always sunny quote. That? <laughs> uh, that's probably the more recent one. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, uh, do we have a list of what's in the town or things? Like, more detailed? Has anyone got um, area knowledge for this town? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Or something that they could... Is there an of. is there is there cute is there a nice looking person around as we approach? Uh, there's a uh, two pikemen at the gate. It's a stone wall, uh, about ten feet high. Uh, well, did you know they're actually from Letterkenny? If you talk to them, you're gonna get a mean chirping. Well, I will I will uh, wave at them as we approach. Hello. hail you. would be like come along there's a gate that is closed at the moment and it looks like there's you know a little gatehouse at one side and someone's stepping out as they turn around and say something into them and you pull your uh, car could you point us towards the, the stables uh the stable in town are at the the inn the end of the high spring, only in in town, they can stable the oxes. Uh, do you have anything to declare? What's your business in I'm town? I'm amazing. She giggles and then go, uh, I'm, I'm meeting a couple people and we need to turn over this dead guy in the back. Tapper's going to step out and walk over. The hunters are also walking up, but go ahead, Tabra. I was also like one moment rolling my law. Well, how do they react when they see Jakku? Uh, the pikemen are just kind of like, you know, raising their eyebrows at you. Have you got body language? I think everyone's got body language in this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, declaring the body and. Nope. What are they doing? Uh, yeah, they they point in. They seem interested in the bunny, and the Ursrin in particular. Uh, they seem Tabra to. Tabra will. Go on, Tabra. Tabra, I assume, 
Yep, you know that. Knows exactly what they deal. Mm-hmm. So he'll uh, walk up and explain it to. Them. We are here because we have wi we witnessed the crime and then we exacted vengeance upon the vagabonds who committed murder. We are here to report that to the Lord of the Land. I. The victim and the hunting party leaders there is Weir. He's like, it's Mr. Burke from the manor down yonder. And everyone's like perking up at that, like, what? Holy shit. Wow, this one person we just learned about. <laughs> Thomas what? Burke's uh, pretty famous in this town. Apparently so. <laughs> like, we can tell. Uh, but like, oh. I will open the gate. Come on in. Uh, if you're planning on selling in the market, there will be taxation due. Uh, otherwise, all fees will be due at the end for your ox. Okay, thank we'll have, you. We'll go speak to the Lord now and arrange something for you. I expect a messenger at the inn. It's the only place with rooms in town, unless you want to head out to the shanties out back. There's lodging houses out there, but no stables for the ox. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. She'll do a hand gesture of, like, pretend blowing a kiss, even though she doesn't have lips as she enters. She's, like, watching you as well. So it really just looks like she's stretching her hand really weird. No, I make a mwah noise, too. <laughs> Following all laws of physics, you don't have a mouth. I, I, I can simulate more noises than you can. That's creepy as hell. That combination. <laughs> yeah, right? But, uh, yeah, the gate opens up. Big creaky iron doors. Is that the gate or is that Orn, apparently? <laughs> That's on. <laughs> I, I I'm that. the dude from Police Academy. I can make all those noises. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy? <laughs> the one Good who makes qualifier. the noises. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, James. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, he's literally the only one. Mm, no, that is... We need to point out that Hollywood needs to hire more people of color. Definitely. So um, deal out, Ollie. I don't know you're watching because you're planning on suing me. But go ahead, Ollie. <laughs> um, digesting, digesting, mm. digesting, digesting. <laughs> don't worry about digesting too much. Do we pass by the market? Uh, the market's closed now, uh, but you pass through the big empty open market area. You can see the it's a big plinth in the middle. Uh, it's got engravings on it, uh, and it's kind of like where the notice board is. Are they written? Yeah. Can I read them? I know it is sent it, written and spoken. Uh, the engraving is about the founding of the town, and it's just like, here is Kavexa, founded in the Third Age, the and like w the hundred and somethingth year of the Third Age. Uh, under the rule of Methan by the Lord Kyrgyzak the first. Long may his name live. And then the notice board is all sorts of stuff. Uh, adverts for various businesses in town, requests for various things, lost dog, lost child. There's actually a few notices about lost children. Uh, definitely more than they should be. <laughs> As uh, opposed, you know, the, the normal amount. How many exactly are about lost children? After he notices three, he wants to count them. Uh, there are 17 missing children reports from what appear uh, to be the past six months. He... I better write that number down, Luke. 17, six He's... months. Good call. Oh, I love you, Simon. 
I, I can tell you called that off the top of your head. You're like, you, be, you better hurry up and write that down if we ask again. I'm opening the book. I'm opening the book. Do I need to make a roll to remember? Like, <laughs> no, I not do. Sure what they... I, I need to make a roll in real life to remember that. <laughs> but you good. <laughs> okay, uh, he'll go back with the team after looking all that. Radio. Right, uh, but yeah, it would just as you zoomed on past there. Uh, the inn is right up here, I reckon. Probably this building over here. Uh, stables and inn. Livery to look after it. Uh, your slave would be driving the cart straight on in there. Not slave! <laughs> yeah, not slaves. But there's a very heavy hyphen between not and slave. Yep. They're legitimately not. They can leave whenever the hell they want. They really don't want to. Yeah. They'll die out there. That's like a good... <laughs> what is it like, Luke? It's like, Sorry. they'll die out there. That's, that's what it's like. <laughs> Tomorrow... Uh, oh, by the way, um, I pay them each their uh, copper. Gotcha. I'm marking that from my... Click. Uh huh. But as you're getting into town, you will start to spot the things that are going on here. And I've got a bit of a list for some info for you. You see, nice. there is a little, a, a smaller church in town as well. Uh, that seems to Which just. God? It's uh, non denominational. A place of okay. worship in general. So which which inn was it that we were supposed to go to? Uh, inn of the High Spring is the only place in town we bed. But there's eight taverns. You can see like two next to each other. You can hear people down one street. Sounds like there's another tavern. Okay. Um. So I will I will uh, tell Ox to lead the cart to where the person told me it was. Yeah, it's, uh, as soon yeah. as you're in the market, you can see it off at the other side of the square. Uh, before we get going on game stuff, how much is it to uh, board the cart and the ox overnight? Uh, boop, 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 boop. I am not 100% sure, so let's get on with game stuff and come back to that at another time. <laughs> okay. So, the town has a garrison of 20 men and a clergy of 120 is this a temple town a shrine town or some sort of what are you frying there James uh rephrasing into a sizzling uh power beacon or I'm not sure how you call those that give you extra on gathering uh, are you asking if this town's a place of power yes because it has so much clergy clergy on it uh, no, um, religion's not super related to, um, magic. Magic and religion are two separate things. One oh. taps into the power of the moons, the other one taps into the powers of the gods, but the gods are more like, we just kind of give you power, and we just kind of laugh at the people who think they have power and don't really have power. Mm. I thought it was some sort of, like, holy town from some sort of deity. No, no, and... the holy power you get, like, uh, as far as I can understand, they're blessings mm -hmm. and not actual, not not like actual power in the sense of like RPM magic. Mm -hmm. It's more like think of it kind of like Achilles, huh. and then the next the next person comes along saying like, "No, I'm Achilles," but they're not and they die. So it, it's one of those <laughs> things. I see. The monastery is quite separate from the town. It's like clergy only at that monastery. Hmm. Uh, they just do their own thing, worshiping Imgia and brew a shit ton of ale that they sell in town. Uh, the the smaller shrines in town and lesser temples. There's a fair one at the keep as well that is that opens to the public on religious days. But only as religious as everyone in Mithra is. They, they gobble that shit right up. <laughs> Tis the opium of the masses. Tis the duskberry of the masses. Because <laughs> it's real. 
But I is everyone heading into the inn? Planning on spending the night in there? Yes. Sure. I was spot doing with his uh, cloak over his head. Well, isn't uh, it dusk now? Trying not to get burned. <laughs> it, it is dusk now. I think by the time you're done at the gate and getting into the inn, it's uh, it's night time and you can start putting your tent away. Oh, then I, I, pack, it, I pack everything up again. Audio. The inn is huge, massive compared to that other one. Uh, it's packed as well. All sorts of folks in there. The hunting party people go straight up to the bar and get their room sorted. I will go to approach the bar. Oi, there's a a young lady wearing a shit ton of makeup behind the bar there. This is the place specified in the note, correct? Uh, or near it? No, the the place in the letter was a cobbler's, uh, a shoe shop. Okay. Is where you should ask for Halloween good body, or is where Mister Burke should ask for Halloween good body. Hi, lady. How are you? Evening, dear. Oh, you're a small one. You're just like uh, you're like Mister Reetha. You are. I'm also very shiny. You are. Oh. I was wondering, are there any rooms left? Uh, I we're we're barely booked at the moment. Uh, after this gentleman you just walked in with, there's there's still ten rooms open. Uh, how many beds in each room? Uh, we've got five rooms with uh five beds. We've got a few singles. We can move beds about if you want. What are you after? Uh. I'm going to get a room for my workers. Uh, this little lady over here, point to Leah, and look at the uh, Jakku and decide he looks soft to sleep on. So and and him. <laughs> Are we all staying in the same room? Because Sigmund staying in the same room as Lee. If he wants to, he can join us in the room. I mean, yeah, because it's, it's his daughter. Like, um, but yes, I will get a five bed. I will get a five better. How five much for bed. how much for the five? Not hundred percent on that either. I want to make sure I've got that right when I charge you for it. So we'll worry about money in a little while. I'm pretty sure you've got plenty right now, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but it's a. I think it has to do with cost of living. Oh yeah, it will be cost of living based. So it's probably cost of living um, divided by uh, quality level, or not divided by, multiplied by quality level, and then divided by the month, so monthly cost. So, and then any markups you want to do. When living away from home, you must pay a daily cost of living equal to 20% of your usual monthly cost of living. There you go. 20% cost of living. And what's cost of living at our tech level here? Uh, cost of living doesn't change for tech level. Uh, at status zero, it is 600. 600. 20% of 600. That's per night? Uh, I think that doesn't jive with the other prices you've given, though. Mm. No, that's a bit dear. Uh, that that cover a full room for five people. How much? Six. No, hundred and twenty. Hundred and twenty for yeah. one night or and, a month? And the food for the night. Hundred and twenty. Okay. Yeah. That'd cover meals and the oxes as well, probably, in the stable. Okay, so 120 total. Uh -huh. That feels about right for this town as well. Okay. I'll sort that out for you at some point in the very near future. I uh, just marked down. I paid for it. Gotcha. So I will, ca I will shake 
and cough up uh, 120 <laughs> copper. <laughs> so that covers uh, four non-slaves, Aaliyah, and yourself. And, and Jakku, because uh, uh, he looks soft to sleep in the pile. And Jakku. Sigmund can sleep in the room if he wants. I mean, it, his daughter is in there. Of course he is. If you just want a single bed for the night, I think 20 coppers is what it'll cost you. But then your meals will be separate from that. Tabra will go ahead and get himself a single room for twenty for four silver sheaf. Uh huh. She winks at you. She's like, "Evening, sir. Not many a scarder here, except for just the Lord's advisor, obviously. But he never uh, comes in here. What's the name of this advisor? I think Tabra would know. Yeah, I think you would definitely know. Uh, but, 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 but it's not someone you've ever met, or at least not recently. Get back to my sheet for this town. Oh, no one looks like they recognize me from anywhere, right? Uh, Give me a second on that. Uh, someone has, is like right as you ask that question. No, someone someone has right slaps their hand on your back, and they just like, Sigmund. Do I know this person? Uh, give me an IQ to try and recall the face. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Do I do I notice anything? Uh, Who is this person? They've aged a good. 20 years since last time you saw him. Uh, you definitely worked as a mercenary with this person before when he was just a young oh, lad. Fuck. He's gained a big old scar across his face. He's currently uh, what's his name? dressed up in heavy leather. His name is Sergius. Better write that down. Yep. <laughs> Stick it here for now. Works for me. He just kind of like it, t it takes a bit for those gears to turn in a uh, Sigmund's head before he just kind of a uh, blinks and he's just like Sergius, why are you here? We're just stopping, obviously. Uh, hey, you've not heard of the. The Verth problem to the north, he is a spot in here as well. Yeah, I think I am, yeah. Yeah, he'll, he'll nod at spot. He's like, I, I saw you at him and assumed you were here to deal with the same problem we have been. I know nothing about anything involved, uh, involving the Verth. Well, uh, oh, it's... It's not the deep earth, it's the eye earth. We've come across a couple already. They're up in the hills to the northeast. A way off, but they're well settled, and they could be a problem soon. Oh, what are they doing? What have they done? Oh, uh, well, they attacked a caravan of the Lord's taxes heading to the capital. Uh, they raided it. That was six months back, I think. Uh, we're here to try and get it back. We've captured a couple already. There's good pay in it, actually, Sigmund. If you're still working. Um, I don't work anymore. Oh, that's a shame to hear. That's a shame to hear. We're here with Donovan as well. And he'll, he'll point over at someone you might remember. His name, is, his name is what? Donovan? Donovan. Nope. Yeah, no, you... <laughs> uh, he no idea who that guy He just looks over to, to apparently this person named Donovan. He's like, who? It's, you don't... Oh. Oh, you'll break his heart if he is you say that, Sigmund. I know nobody named Donovan. Are you joking? 
We yeah, won. Sigmund's an ass. <laughs> Do I look like the person who jokes? <laughs> Is that... Oh. Well. Well, we're here. We're stopping night. We had only room till you lot showed up. We're back making base. We'll be talking to the Lord tomorrow as well, obviously. So what is your wait, business wait, wait, in town? Wait. What what are you doing with such strange bedfellows, Sigmund? Personal matters. Preparing Jaku is the... Yeah, Jaku. grooming by the fire. Jaku is like <laughs> grooming by the fire. Uh, um, a, a few people are watching saying. you, Jaku. Yeah. So what was the name of the uh, advisor? Uh, Ledger. Ledger of Kvexa. Uh, how many people would be watching Jaco? Uh, there's like a crowd of about five. They're like laughing and giggling at what he's doing. And then like oh, when he what? sticks his leg up to get behind his thigh, they're all like, ah, just like a bunny. Can I try to make a show to earn some money? Uh, yeah. You could just like is... start playing if you want. There's no other is bards. That expert skill? Anyways, while they're handling that, what exactly did uh, Sergius say before? Like he said something about the uh, event, something before asking me why am I here? I it just couldn't believe that you can't remember Donovan. Oh. <laughs> and then asked why you were here with such strange bedfellows pointed at the Ursrin, the Usagi, Orn. Uh, this person. You'd stopped working with him before you had even picked up Leah as well. So, is that a young girl? You went to some strange kidnapping business, Sigmund. She is my daughter. Oh. Well, fine. <laughs> oh dear, Ulrich. Yeah, that's Ooh. not good. Is that your performance skill? Like, what? No, that's musical performance. That's the expert skill. That's the one I normally use to bar things. And oh, not if you're if you're doing that, yeah, that's panhandling. Or uh, it'd be it'd the expert skill, I guess. Yeah. Also, I'm not sure if I can add plus two from my voice advantage on this skill. Uh, Are you using your voice? Yeah, if you yes. sing it, then you can. It's still it's a twelve and a fifteen. I fail by three. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's not good. People are looking at you and they're like, give it up. Give it up, Ursrin. <laughs> it sounds <It's> horrible. <laughs> he stops. Ja at Jaku this point, taking... Orn will take. Oh, I like a Jaku. Go ahead, Foko first. Oh, sorry. Jaku is just taking pleasure in watching you bomb. <laughs> uh, in, in this opportunity, Orn will pull her Orcarina out of her. one of her holes and. Um, all right, Link. Phrasing. <laughs> and just start playing. Uh, there's not a band already, is there? Uh, no. Cool. I play okay. Mm -hmm. Made it yeah. by two. You do some nice little ditties. It's pretty crowded and noisy in here. Uh, yeah. So it, it's only like you and the not slaves who hear it. Jewel's like, oh, that's beautiful, that is, Mastress. Thank you, Jewel. Oh, by the way, um, room and board is on me tonight. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Thank you. We sleep indoors. In here again. Mm-hmm. In... We got you bed, and she'll give, uh, she'll hand them each one of the corresponding keys. <gasps> Well, I, I don't think there is even keys. We'll d give them the room number then. <laughs> mm -hmm. You could just point. It's like, <laughs> you can see it from where you are. So, Luke, what does Tamber know about this? Um, It's been a while. I forget the name you gave me. Look what you made me do. Ledger. Ledger of Kvexa. I'll write it down. Oh, I don't think you know. Much about him, but he's definitely been here for probably what, like five hundred years? What's the lifespan of an Escada again? Uh, 
Their equivalent of the human 50 is 400. Uh, so, yeah, he's probably about between 400 and 500. And uh, he would have been... Mm, but, yeah, he's just an advisor. General, like, uh, you know, the administrative side of looking after a town is handled by him. Yes, I have heard of this person, though I must confess that I do not know much of him. Thank you for the information. Oi. Got to see ya. Spot, are you getting anything? Uh, do you even bother we rooms? <laughs> Seeing as you not need anywhere to sleep. Uh, I probably can't stay too much inside. Uh, oh really? What is the outside like? The outside of the inn? Uh, it's all right. It's um a big patch of the. It's it's mostly cobblestoned the square. Uh, mm. but there's some soft hay patches in the stables, <laughs> <laughs> and. In the streets, there is town guard patrolling. Uh, probably see him kicking someone who's sleeping around a corner if you're having a little explore outside the inn. Mm. He's like, Move it, scum! He's like, oh, I have no home. Check like, it out, town. That kind of shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Spot's gonna stay. With the cart? Mm hmm. Smart. Someone should probably stay with that. Yeah, he's gonna be doing some alchemy. Right. I think at this point, Jaku's moved on to like another layer of oil on his uh, armor. Gotcha. It, it was really wet. Like, he's, he's making sure. <laughs> Do you all sit together in the inn while you eat? If you are eating there, buying meals. Oh, I made a um a geography check on the way to keep an eye out for um rocks for tastiness. Oh, yeah, your geology check. I forgot about that. You would have I feel definitely like we found. jumped around so much. There's like five things we need to do before we get left behind. Yeah, there... but I made it. So did I find dinner for myself? Yeah, you've you've got some rocks to eat. Cool. Oh yeah, you said you were gonna roll, but you'd never said what you're rolling. Why you're rolling? Mm. That I remembered it back then, but I forgot about it. What? <laughs> nonsense! Nonsense words coming out of my mouth. But yeah, just because. Tiber's uh, just gonna have leftovers. Roll me like perception, people. Oh, okay. The hunters mm -hmm. aren't really sat weird. They seem to have gone to bed. Apparently. But they thanked you before they parted ways. They were like, thank you again for the wagon ride. Orn. If I wanted to be a Bitch, I could have charged them, but I didn't. You're a good rock. Uh, and, yes, yeah, but you'd see them as they're walking in. Uh, someone who's definitely a, like a lord's messenger heading into the inn. And then he's calling. It's like, an Orn, Tabra of Leola. Yellow wave. I am here. He'll run over to you both. Oh, and like, uh, Lord Kyrgyzak will see you on the morrow. Be there two hours after dawn. Very well. We are taking the body of Mr. Burke now. We will expect 
detailed statements from everyone who was at Mr. Burke's manor. Lord Kirkzak thanks you for your assistance in these Do matters. you have a translator? Uh, which languages? I just Usagi. look at him and give him how, like an eye squintiness and go, Really? The, the messengers, like, oh. We do not have anyone who speaks that language. Uh, don't worry, I got it. The issue is that they cannot, if they are seeking to interview everyone individually, they cannot trust what you are saying that he has said. Uh, the Lord will see to it in the morning, but if the, your whole party could be arranged, all who were in the manor, to expedite matters, we would be most grateful. I'll give an, like, an entire body rotation because I can't nod, but yeah, an affirmative. You do a somersault. No, just, you know, the up and down. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Sigmund, what have you been up to? Are you sat with those to listen to this? Leah's there paying I mean, attention. Oh, uh, she's paying attention? Yeah, she's like... <clears throat> Uh-oh. I don't know if she knows about this background. <laughs> she weren't... Uh, uh, not when you were talking to um, Sergius. She's paying attention to what this messenger is saying right now. Uh, okay. But yeah, but well, while they're talking, he turns his attention back to Sergius and just says there was a murder of a man not too far from here that we were in, that we were involved in punishing the culprits of. Oh, why? Strange, strange shit's been going down recently, Sigmund. Mm, All sorts uh, of weird stuff. Twice. Yeah. By the way, he now goes. Steel for steel, blood for blood. You're now on the ground, I'm not. But apparently everybody wants to be formal and give a report or something. Well, I is it the... Well, you don't want to be caught foul of the law, Sigmund. I haven't defiled the law. Relax. I know, but... As I said, strange times, everyone's extra jumpy. And they've been... They've been hangings in town for the leastest things. And children have been going missing as well, apparently. We don't think they've it's... They've to hang me for punishing the murderers of a man. I'm just saying. Watch yourself in town, Sigmund. Mm. They're, the guards all uppity. People's kids have been going missing. So what's your daughter too? Although she's a bit older than the ones have been taken, I think. Mm. Jaku has now moved to sharpening his sword. <laughs> uh... In general, in this world, do people like cobblers work out of their houses? Uh, it very much depends on the cobbler. Uh, in a town like this, yes, pretty much. What? Um, it's like what, tenish? Uh, if that, yeah, yeah, ten p.m. After the messenger leaves. After finishing his uh, leftovers, Tabor's gonna go for a little walk. Telling anyone about it? No, but obviously leaving with intent. Okay. Spot noticed that. He's posted up in back of car, like, uh, watching all the comings and goings of the inn, I reckon. And presumably the other people talking while eating, such as the Dethovian, who I assume always talks while eating, <laughs> would notice someone suddenly leaving the conversation. What are you talking about? I just talk all the time. Leah would be knackered from traveling as well. 
she's yawning by now and she's just like I'm going to bed papa mm. I'll be there soon so no one's taking the bait well it's uh, late we were just traveling all day I'm, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to go see the cobbler also I have some gambling to do <laughs> Yeah, is in the middle of cleaning his stuff. Actually, wait, yeah, what time is dawn here? Uh, it'll be like 7 a.m. ish. So okay, now he won't go. Gotcha. Tabro will not go right now because he wants to have time to be ready. Mm -hmm. I imagine you're all fairly knackered, the ones that get so from the journey. I am, um, but I am going to gamble for an hour first, if there's gambling going on in here. Radio. Is looks, there? Uh, if you give me, have you got, oh, just perception. I'll, I'll have a check for you quick. Yeah, yeah. There's some people playing dice games. Uh, there's some awesome, people I'm good at those. Playing with a really crappy deck of cards. I will dice games. Just float over and be like, oh, what are you playing? They're like, frown at you as you arrive. And be like, oh, just roll a dice. I think I had a name for a dice game, but I've forgotten it. <laughs> Can I play? Like, if you've, if you've got the money. I'll cough up some copper. Uh, aye, aye. Gambling? Yeah, I believe it's a contest of gambling. It is a contest of gambling. You... Made it by six. Yeah, you beat me by two. I don't know how much copper would have been made, and I'm playing a, a fool also. Do you need an acting check? Give me an acting check, yeah, if you want to be a... If you want to be like that. Oh, I only made it by one, but... Let's Still see. make it. Mm. It's a pose, though. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Like, someone probably catches on if they make it at all. Yeah. It, mm -hmm. They don't really play along with it much. They're just like, whatever, roll them. Uh, but yes. But they don't like losing, which they did. Uh, how much did I make? Because I'm going to hover off as soon as I um, check it up. make some money. No. Uh, how much did you wager? Uh, I would have put down like 10 or 20. Uh, yeah, you can make 20 back. So, plus 20? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like, oh, get out of here. You're no fool. Shakes the fist at the little rock that floats away. I'll, uh, order the table around a drinks. How much does that cost? Uh... Like, a copper drink or something? Yeah, for an easy drink. Cheap yeah, one. Yeah, I'll, I'll get... I'll get uh, everyone a cheap drink before I go. How many people are at the table? Bunch. <laughs> the the dice rolling ones. Yeah. Probably like five. Yeah, five. Okay. And then I'll wave and go to bed. Okay. Spots compulsively brewing out there. Tumber's going to renew his uh, duration uh, based spells that are currently active on him. Okay. It requires less than his energy thresh threshold, so he just has to renew his energy threshold. Gotcha. Doing some energy gathering then. Yeah, you want the uh, rolls? Uh, how many do you need to do? He needs to do it three times. 
and all he's looking for is to make sure he doesn't critically fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Show me some quick rolls, please. Just to make sure you don't crit fail. Should I just do it in a sheet? Because uh, yeah. I'll be getting like one energy per... Mm -hmm. If you've got a link to the... Uh... The uh, sheet I, that you're using. I moved it to a different sheet of my own because it was easier that way. Hi, just pop me a view link for that into Discord. But yeah, that's no worries. Uh, Sigmund, were you hanging out with Leah or did you want to talk to Donovan and Sergius? Uh, he wanted to see why they were there and learn a little bit more about this birth issue. Uh, yeah, well, uh, they're not the only ones who've been... Yeah, you're going to talk to him for a bit, aye. So, okay. we're, we're dealing with the birth. Aye, the high birth. They've been taken over the hills to the northeast, causing problems. We told you about the caravan that was attacked. Lots of taxes lost. They took a lot of gold. We don't know what the Verth are wanting with gold. I know little about Verth. But they were ruthless. Slaughtered the men. Slaughtered the horses. Ripped apart the caravan. Took everything. And uh, there's a few of us been hired out to do this. Uh, the main party's still north. Maybe 50 knobs from here. We're back to get supplies, and then we're off again in the morning. We're trying to figure out where their base is. Where they're coming from. Mm. The There's lots of... The Wardens are still here. The Wardens. That's your mercenary group, right? No, the former mercenary band Sigmund was part of. Uh, Yeah, I, I think it will be the Wardens that's on it. Alright. Oops. Oops. Accidentally clicked on speed test. <laughs> my favorite bar. Everyone. So, uh, Luke, yep. where are we in town? Uh, it's right here. Okay. Below the walls to the keep. Uh, this is all on a slight hill. Uh, the keep is like the highest point in town. Okay. Uh, I think Jakku's gonna, like, put all his stuff in his room, and then he's gonna, like, go outside and be, like, running forms. Like, just doing some training. Oh, look at that. Some magic just appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Baller. Uh... But yeah, so you just like running up and down the square. No, 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 like uh, uh you know, doing the tai chi thing, just like oh, running forms. Got ya, got ya. The weeb thing. People yeah. will come outside to watch you. There's like, as you finish cleaning all your stuff, and everyone is just laughing at you, pretty much. It, it's obvious. You. I, I'm just. I'm ignoring them. Yeah, you're a spectacle to these people. And then there's like oh, a... The, the, the sword does not get put in the room. you still got the sword on you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only reason that people haven't gone as far as to be dickheads yet. But there's definitely a few, like, filthy children. Very young, trying to copy you. While people are smoking pipes and drinking from the flagons out front of the inn laughing at you. This is just like shaking their heads when they go back inside after they have enough. <laughs> like, ridiculous. Have you ever seen any shit like that before in your life? What was he doing? Just ignore them. <laughs> yeah. hmm. Just a bit casual racism against the Usagi there. Y yes, that was indeed racist. <laughs> oh, question, Luke. Question. Luke. The innkeeper was really not racist towards Tabra. Was that noteworthy? Uh, yeah, that that was noteworthy. That I don't know. that was innkeeper wasn't so. 
racist towards you. She liked you. You definitely had looks from other people in the bar. Um, if you open the sheet, I can do three of the energy gatherings. Oh. Is there a uh, blacksmith in the town? There is a blacksmith, aye. Perfect. Did you get this all fixed up right here? Uh, real quick, how many sheets did you say I got? Because I don't know if I marked them down. Did you That's just roll one, Luke, if you're looking? Yep. Yes. Sorry, what? Sorry, I'm just That's watching two rolls. Yep. That's three. Ooh, Quicks don't set. matter when you're refilling your uh, thing mm -hmm. there. Yep. Looks good. And what was the question, Sigmund? Uh, how, mu how much money was, uh, did Sigmund get? Was it like 45 crowns? Uh, how, how much? It was 21 crowns, I'm pretty sure. I think I combined it. Yeah, because it was 2,100 GURPS bucks, you said. Mm -hmm. Which is about... 21 crowns and I combined that with my leftover wealth. Gotcha. So yeah, you have got like a, 45 a lot of gold jangling on you somewhere. <laughs> I'm a rich boy. Ill-gotten gains. He was dead. Who's gonna use it? His ass. Oh, remember when you st we were told that we were gonna be interviewed? Why do you think I'm gonna spend it? <laughs> Spend it all before your interview at 9 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, supplies need to be gotten, equipment needs to be upgraded. Just yeah. to be clear, you're searching for a blacksmith at uh, 10 p.m.? Oh, is it 10 p.m.? It is 10 p.m. right now, yeah. Is there, is there a uh, insomniac blacksmith around? Mm, no, everything's pretty closed <laughs> up. The only it's... noise is coming from the various taverns. I mean, his entire house is dead, so. I don't know anybody else who's alive in that place. Is entire oh Thomas Burke radio. Yeah. Um, let me just make a couple of GM checks. Yeah, I think most of you would have noticed it on the way in. Uh, one of this building right here, a fairly large one storefront that had Burke Smurses as a big fancy sign above it. And it is one of the fancier shops right on the market. Oh, right okay. The... All, all right. Yeah, that's an interesting detail to leave there. Uh -huh. And it's a Mercer's dealing in fine cloths. And look at that. I say it and it labels itself. Roll 20 has got a lot fancier. While well, we're at it, Burke's second board son also happens to be there. <laughs> well, he's, he's in his house sleeping, but he works there. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> there he is. Everybody. There he is. I think it's a good time for another commercial break. We've been going another hour. Uh, thanks for sticking with us, everyone who's been here as long as you have. And we will be right back in five minutes at the most.
and we're back so it seems like people are mostly going to bed except for the compulsive brewer who is compulsively brewing uh when jack gets back in the room after he does his things Warren's gonna legitimately like grab his hand as he enters pull him over to the bed where uh leah and doggo is and like fly down and then pat it like come join the pile one of us give me a will I check on just because it's a uh, it's pretty late i think jacko would have been out there a while and you might have just fallen asleep on doggo waiting uh will will i'm fine i think you probably kept your eyes open but go on jacko what were you saying this rock's oh. trying to grab your hand and pull you over to a sleeping pile. I think Jagu is actually a big fan of this idea. Okay. He's a cuddly woody bunny. Yeah, pretty much. The dog's really soft and it's bigger than you. But it's a bit smelly. As dogs tend to be. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm peaceful night no one gets murdered in the sleep except for everyone unlucky so spot what do you want to do all the party's dead murdered in the sleep now is my chance <laughs> <laughs> if only right <clears throat> but i are people trying to get woken up at dawnish yeah set your internal well, what alarm time, what, what time did they i go are... to bed that's up to you do you do Sigma to League and waking up by nightmares at all? I will. Uh, so. I will let. I'll ask Jack who to wake me um, before. You both good or at dawn. Weird dreams, Sigmund, but not a nightmare. You don't lose any sleep. Okay, and Lee's okay. Yeah, Leah's good. Sorry. Uh, so I think. Go on. It was probably like ten that Jack went to bed. So at like two, he wakes up and then like meditates it would have been a bit later than 10 you didn't start doing your practicing mm. till about then okay so he goes to bed at midnight and wakes up at 4 and yeah. meditates for 2 hours mm -hmm. gotcha what were you brewing by the way spot alchemical elixirs Or um, just tea human bags. Flesh? Sorry, human... I said human flesh. Human flesh. You, you literally do have human flesh. He's got uh, uh more yeah, than just human flesh. He's got the head of a wizard. <laughs> oh, I, I already used the head. Mm -hmm. That got That's not... ground up at the stables in the inn. Yeah, I made a potion of decapitation huh burning an hole in your pocket how long is that going to last before it goes out of date you should go a couple of uh, weeks at least the effect lasts for a day but uh, the potion itself is going to what does I mean, the potion do uh, it, it gives plus 5 to rolls to decapitate oh both to hit and damage. Wow. <laughs> That's a fancy Damn. potion. There's going to yeah. be a fight over that potion. Attack and I cackle maniacally. <laughs> I don't need outside help. Deku, <laughs> <laughs> I have power blow. <laughs> uh, the market does get set up legit quite early. And the blacksmiths does have a stand there selling. Perfect. What they've, sell? they've got shields and swords and a couple of helmets at the stand. They've got more stuff, they say, at the blacksmiths. Can I try another panhandling uh, expert skill at the market? Yeah. It should be. It's like IQ easy, right? It's IQ hard, but with the tenor, uh, uh, sorry, with the boys' advantage, I get a plus two. Because uh, panhandling is, is legit IQ easy. 
Uh, you want me to change it because the uh, expert skill is so the hard. expert skill is like for the bard. You can change yes. the difficulty of the expert skill. I, yeah, it's. I don't think being a bard is an IQ hard skill. Uh, I think IQ easy would get you by to be a busker. Okay, if IQ hardwood voice would give me this roll. Oh, I made it. Oh, sick. I mean, if you failed on IQ easy like that, then I would be very shocked. <laughs> yeah, you'd definitely I'm make. Glad not to disappoint. Make a few coppers. So you're just like outside the tavern, in the square singing. Yeah, he's just trying to get some money. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's how how long do you spend doing it? A uh, few hours, since everybody seems to be doing their own thing. He's just trying to earn some honest money. You'd you'd have two hours to do it before okay. you meant to head up to the gate. So how many coppers would I get? Uh, only two. <laughs> <laughs> it's two two, two times margin of success in hours. And it's really just someone who lives close to where you were playing who was like, "I will pay you if you stop." <laughs> I. Hope I'm not that bad. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good enough. It's good enough. It's not... More or less that they were sleeping. <laughs> it, it's early in the morning. Oh, everyone's awake. People don't be skiving here, except for people who work night shifts. Somebody has to wake them up if they don't have any chickens. Everyone's got chickens. What you're about? I will uh, head to the jewelers. Bye. Before when the morning goes around. I think I heard someone else saying they were starting to do something. No? But uh, Tumbra's just going to find the cobbler and not go in. Because don't want to deal with that business before getting interviewed about it. <laughs> right. You know, the cobbler is... That specific one is round this back alley. Uh, round about here. It's not a particularly fancy shop. Not one of the more expensive ones. Uh, and it's not quite open yet, but you'd probably... Yeah, notice activity, you know, on the upstairs. Like, whoever runs it is getting getting ready to open, probably. Okay, and Tabra will just... have the last of his leftovers and then dump them wherever there's public dumping. They'll disappear in three days, so... Okay. <laughs> Oof. Uh, the jewelers is next to Burke's shop. Is, is it, it open? Uh, it'd open at like eight, an hour after dawn. So you got time to go in before... Uh, you to me. Sorry, Sigmund, what did you say? The Oh, the blacksmith stall. Yeah, like, what is he... Does, got... he does he have any uh, any daggers of any kind? Yeah, they've got uh, various daggers. Uh, how many look like they're well made? Uh, there, is, there is one fine dagger there. Perfect. I buy it. How much? To it. Um, I'm gearing on that for you now. I'm sure you can afford it. <laughs> if I if I can afford it, daggers are super cheap. So super like a a fine one isn't that big of a deal. Jared, what's the cost factor on fine? You know these things. Um, uh, it varies on it, TL. It's level. actually it's actually in low. Uh, fine. It is a basic. Well, fi what what's the thing that you're looking to get fine? A dagger. Or a, a, okay, a, I yeah. A knife in this case. You're looking for ornate, which is in low Yeah, ornate is like pre that's a, like presentation. Uh, fine is yeah. at a. You wanted fine? Oh, yeah. Four times more. Wait, when you say fine, are you looking for the minus one to odds of breakage and plus one to damage? Yeah, yeah, that's that's what he said. What he said, fine. Yeah, um, knives are plus three cost factor. Plus oh, three. really? 
Okay, so that that's barely anything. Yeah, you can get a a large <clears throat> a large dagger like that that'll cost you a uh, hundred and twenty copper. Oh, shit, are we hundred and twenty? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good for me. I'll Wait, buy it. One. It's swing minus two, or thrust impaling is the base. But yeah. is it plus one to damage from that fine? Did you say, Jared? Yes, plus one. So swing minus one or thrust plus one impaling. Mm -hmm. Cut in for the swing one. Bye, they got that. They got yes, small, uh, medium, large shields. There are swords there. Uh, there's not a fine sword. That's fine. Uh, is there a bowyer of any kind? Oh, I got a bow. You saw me wandering around with a bow. Oh, no, I, I had a bow as well. I'm just oh, yeah. Hey, uh, more arrows. Oh, okay, because I was about to say, I, I did... I've been all, all, doing around... You want a Fletcher's. Fine Fle long Fletcher, bow. Fletcher, sorry, Fletcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, mine is not fine, but <clears throat> I'm just looking for one to buy arrows from because I don't remember how many said I had. Yeah, th I there's a Fletcher set up on the market stall for sure. Selling Perfect. arrows. How many arrows? Uh, I forget the cost of an arrow. Uh, arrow is... $20. <laughs> 200000 20 $20. It depends on the arrow. Uh -huh. An arrow costs $2. Yeah. Uh, but as I'm waiting for the jeweler to open, by the way, I'm going to play the Ocarina just casually. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's two for a barbed arrow... One for a blunt arrow. Any bodkin arrows? Uh, yeah, they've got bodkins. Perfect. Hmm. How much do they cost? Because normally TL three, the average for TL three is bodkin arrows. Uh, it's in. And they have an arbor divisor of two. Yep. I think bodkins are in basic, aren't they? Why you got to put everything? No, they're also in low tech. Also in low tech. Also in low tech. I'm bodkin. On there. Um. Wait, barbed. It would be barbed. That's wait no, bodkin. Bodkin is called bodkin in basic. That's why I call the bodkin. Okay, yes, yeah, so you do want to go to basic two seventy seven. Told you. Ah, oh, but I told you the page. Yeah, that that did help. Yeah, no effect on cost or weight, so it's a uh, also two. Perfect. Uh, but it changes right. from impaling to piercing. Ah, oh, that's true, yeah. What's, uh, what's the damage modifier on regular piercing again? One times. One times. Yeah, yeah, I'll buy it, because people are probably going to be fighting this. They're going to be armored anyway. Okay. But th they've got, like, a hundred possible options for each. If you want to buy a hundred arrows off them. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, go, go ahead, come to somebody else while I'm just getting my shot, a little shopping luster anyway, basic. Mm -hmm. Uh, that jewelers is opening up, especially seeing as they've seen you playing your ocarina outside waiting. Hello. Welcome. It's a elderly lady. She's got long grey hair. She's wearing very fancy clothes. Obviously, she's got lots of jewelry on. I like your clothes and jewels. They're so cute. I'm I'm laying on the flattery. Noted. Mm. Oh, was that fast talk? Uh, diplomacy. Ye... Or what are you trying to do? Just lay on the flattery. Just uh -huh. get uh basically make my uh. Crap, what's it called? Um, reaction modifier. Reaction higher. Uh, can you do that with diplomacy or fast talk? I don't think fast talk, because fast talk's more like swindling. Yeah, mm -hmm. fast talk is like swindling somebody, like, real quick, pulling the wool over their eyes, like snake oil salesman or something. Psychology? <laughs> Lie, maybe? You know, I'm not lying, I actually I mean, like I know... Oh, I thought I the snake adjusting, oil was lying. Sorry. I know adjusting reaction modifiers is pretty hard when it comes to skills. Like, 
doing it with music is classified technically as a psionic skill, so I, I don't know any other skills that really do it. Unless they're in, like, the charisma tree or something. Well, Luke, uh, just give me, what do you what do you want me to roll for just... Uh, uh, diplomacy is what you'd want. Diplomacy? Okay. You can substitute a diplomacy roll for a reaction roll. Uh, I got made it by two. But, yeah, I was just... And then I'll go, mm -hmm. uh... Oh, no, yeah, you definitely improve her opinion of you off the bat. She's like, mm, well, thank you very much for your kind words. How can we be of assistance? We have many fine pieces in store available. Well, first off, I was hoping to have something appraised. Do you do that here? She, you hear, you can tell she's, like, disappointed that you're not buying off the bat, but she's like... Oh, I might buy something. Yes, we, we can... We can look at something. And then, but I, I'm looking for something to mount it onto, so. Okay, I see. We can do that here if you like as well. Mm -hmm. And I will pop down my uh, lapis lazuli I got. Mm-hmm. That's it's it. It's one point, it's uh, one, it's a 2.75 carat Yeah, it's a, gem. it's big. Lapis Lazuli is very fancy looking. And, uh... It's the first time I've heard Lapis pronounced that way. I, I have no idea. Uh, I think the first time I saw it written down were in Minecraft. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first time I heard it, Steven Universe. How did they say it in that? They probably get it right. Lapis Lazuli. Uh, yeah. You got it right. Lapis Lazuli. I, yeah, no, I'm not saying that's the incorrect way of saying it or anything. I just personally pronounce it lapis lazuli. Lazuli. That's because I, that's because I live in the south. Yeah, that's way off base, but yeah. Just interesting. I, mean, I always I'm like... I'm a tomato tomato. <laughs> <laughs> hey -o. I don't speak my language no good at all, pal, so I cannot judge no one for talking bads in any ways. Yes, but I will plop that down on the counter. Just like, oh. Oh, wow. She might have changed her mind about being upset that you're selling when she sees this. And <laughs> she's like, ooh, this is this is a very nice piece indeed. Uh, it's cut as well, that, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's probably a nice cashabon. I don't know, I'm just throwing out any weird word that I know is a shape that I've seen in Dwarf <laughs> Fortress when people are crafting <laughs> up gems before. Yeah. I'll sell these elves some cashabons. Uh, but yes, that is very nice. Uh, oh, I think this would be... Have you got Merchant? I... You do. I remember you showed it off once. Believe, yes, Merchant. Rolling Merchant. <sighs> by nine. Yeah, they succeeded by zero. Uh, so... This this is a very high quality piece indeed. Uh, I'd say it's probably worth at least twenty crowns, which would be like two thousand. Set in a suitable holder, the bunny's running around the market like a nutter. <laughs> Getting his cardio in. Don't feel shy to drag your tokens onto the map if you like. You all should have that ability. Yes. Uh, Ulrich will continue singing if he has a chance. Mm -hmm. You said it's 20? Tw yeah, not, not sure how long it's going to take for me to use those two hours. Yeah, it, it would be right up until you have to go into the gate. Then yeah, I'll stay there. But yeah, it, it's worth 2,000. Oh, that's, 2000 that's how much unmounted. she'd be willing to gear right now for it unmounted but obviously in a in a proper holder befitting its uh, its quality it could be worth much more how much for the hold how much for uh something equivalent well i for, for to mount it in i wouldn't put this in anything less than uh, high quality gold platinum Silver at the very worst, if that's your taste. 
uh, but that'd be a fair bit. I'm not sure how much uh, like a necklace costs like that. A gold Quite necklace. a bit, yeah. way more than I have. But I was um, well, like I wasn't playing. another two thousand, and then it'd make the final jeweled piece worth like six k. All right. If it were well, all... I don't know. Sigmund came across all that money, so I'll look a yeah, little. Yeah, no, nobody knows about that. I'll look yeah. a little disappointed and go, ah, oh, darn it! I only have seven. Not sorry, I don't have that much. <laughs> yeah, you don't just tell this person <sighs> how much cash you got in the shop. There's a dodgy fella in the shop who's like listening on every word you're saying. That's not true. <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> uh, but I'll say I don't have that much today. Um. Is there anything pretty that is uh, a reasonable price? Uh, um, there's around a hundred. Uh, yeah, but it's it's not great, you know. You can maybe yeah, get no, a small just... bracelet made of gold that's not the you know best purity. All right. Well, I'll shove the rock back into one of my uh, hidey holes and. She's clearly disappointed would... that she's not going to get to buy it off you. She would, she would try and convince you, but with that merchant contest, she's doing a bad job of it. Like, oh, and come on! Well, uh, I'll, I will uh, think about it. But for now, I will take that gold bracelet and purchase it. She's like, this, when when you show it to her, and she's like, very well. It's a present for a teenage girl. What do you want? I see. I I, I wasn't judging uh, death Ra or kind of. I will laugh and go, you were judging, but that's fine. I wouldn't wear this. What pronouns do Deathovians have? Do they use uh, him, her... Or do yeah, they're male, female, female, aren't they? So kinda, kind but of, not really. <laughs> they, it is a a binary of sexes for reproductive purposes, but I think it's how we choose to present because we deal with humans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I take on the uh, female side of things because yeah, it's more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um yes, I will spend a hundred to get that bracelet. If we're talking about sexes though, then you will never be further from a binary than with the birth. The birth? Don't they have like nine? Uh I think it's it help me through this spot. We figured it out. It's eight distinct sexes. And is that from combinations of four different genitals? <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Hey, what's Lee's strength? Uh, like. 10? Nine? Nine? Okay. No, <laughs> 10. Yeah, 10. Uh, before we get moving on very much further, uh, what's the, <laughs> is the thing uh, worth uh, 2,000 for realsies, or is that what just. She uh, was willing to pay. At least. That's like how much she had in stock to buy it off you. That's how much cash she's got liquid okay. that she could have bought it from you. She would be willing to do trades as well. She'd have offered you up other gems, probably. Like, well, I'll think about it, but for now, I have to... I have to go see the Lord. I'll think about it, but I'll be back later. She's like, oh. Have fun. Like, oh, just making a point there, are you? That you're off to see the Lord. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, it's times coming round. And that's, and that's me. Other people can do their thing now. Uh, this is kind of, it's a big question to ask just out of the blue. But Spot, tell me about your genitals. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just the perfect timing. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, the Vert have uh, each individual has four uh, different genders out of a pool of eight Goy. and very uh, exotic bits uh -huh. there's the spore sack 
That's that's one that was confirmed. It's uh, I, yeah. They are uh, known to attempt to interbreed with other races. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with various levels of success. Well, probably next to zero. <laughs> <laughs> The Hive Earth, uh, something to behold, they look like maybe the result of a success a thousand years ago. Yeah, that that's something that can be said, yeah. Something. Something. So after all the head, uh, after all that time passes, it something happens. Uh, yeah, it's you. You got your golds. You, pff, your two coppers. Your golds. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure you're all gathering at about the right time anyway. But that messenger from last night that appear at the gate to the keep. Uh. There's another two pikemen, different ones from last night. And they'll be like, Is your... Hello! Ah, good morning. Is your party ready? Everyone who uh, is... Uh... I'll look around. Is everyone here? Uh, yeah. I think you see uh, the bear like packing up his vocal cords and running over. Uh, minus the two hunters that were lookouts, or the three hunters, they kind of went off on their own. Oh, you you see them walking up as well, yeah. Uh, there, oh, there they are. Yes, everyone's here. It's like, very well, follow me this way, please. Uh, I will, by yeah. the way, I will be translating everything to Jacko. Gotcha. I'm just checking. Yeah, it's uh, not a huge keep, but it gets the job done. Um, there is a stables through here as well, you can see. Uh, training area for the guard and what have you. And they would lead you around into an entrance hall and a bit of a throne-ish room going on. It's uh, like a large, open, smooth stone uh Statues of lots of the gods as well. Uh, like all of them lying in this hall. And there is a pretty old bloke sat up on the throne. You can see an Ascada stood next to him. Who's an old looking Ascada. And there's a few other random humans stood about. One wearing long robes. Uh, I'm not sure what skill this would be. But people have already got it to know. It's a, like, court wizardy type. This year? There's usually a magical advisor to uh, a lord. V vizier? Yeah. Uh, it, it actually is called a vizier. If you're looking for a historical term. Right, yeah. Yes, then. Uh, I got but you. These are people trained by the university in Ashwell. Uh, who, when they finished, are sent out to serve lords and kings and others just open shops, you know. But the... You get fancy robes. You're allowed to wear fancy robes if you graduated the university. And it makes you stick out like a sore thumb. And you're like all a right idiot. Like a right idiot, I And you're all called up to the uh throne. He he it's like, Step forward then. Let's hear it. Mr Burke is dead. How did this yeah, happen? I'm coming shopping list, by the way. Hmm. That's what I bought so far. Ignore that. Evil wizards. Evil, 
evil uh, I mean, wizards. Pikmin is just gonna let the face quotations of the party just do the talk a year. The face with <sighs> the hole. As I, as I say, while well, I just get the, You can't sigh about that. You literally called yourself face. I am a face, I know. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I sighed because I thought you were punning the fact that I am just a floating... I mean, that too. Yeah, head. you're a literal rock with hands, but okay. Joke, <laughs> dude. Evil wizards did it. We... Okay. Oh, so... Alright, so... <laughs> The story thus far. So we were all in a, in a tavern, hanging out, doing our things, quite separate from each other. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this dead ca guy came along and started harassing us. Yes, I know what you're saying. It was a necromantic spell of some kind. I looked over at the wiz our, our group's wizard. Necromantic, right? He's not even listening. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, dead Which guy comes along. Tavern. One in I'll town the here? Name. No. The Hainok. Give them the name of the one back. It's... What tavern is this? And then, like, uh, the Escada, uh, you'll see, like, whispers to him. And he's like, that's 40 knobs from here. Yeah. But anyway, so he comes along, tries to murder us. We murder, or re re murder him instead. And. We find out that it's, um, what was the guy's name again? Uh, Thomas Burke. Thomas Burke. And so we go and investigate the manor, and there were a bunch of evil wizards who had kidnapped a kid from the tavern. We took care of the evil wizards from there, they had trashed the place, they had stolen just about everything, or it looked like they had stolen about everything. I don't know what actually they stole, but... Um, and we took care of them, and so they're dead now. And then when we came back, and now we're here. Do you have any proof of this group of evil wizards? Uh... You I just mean, say you killed them all. That's rather convenient, isn't it? I could. The Sigma just throws you... out one of the robes there. Fuck it. Here you go. These fuckers have been chasing it for a while. Here's a symbol. Eat his dick. Uh, there's the one of their cloaks. I say pointing, and then um, and then look and go. And if you would like, um, my my employees are freed slaves of theirs. You could ask them some questions if you would like. Have you brought them with you? You ought to have, really. Yeah. They were there, yeah. Yeah, I think they're, like, cowering behind you. So, hmm. I think she'll have my guard captain interview those separately. Right now, in fact. Uh, be nice to them, please. Oh, by the way, all that armor and that knife is going to leave. That's all for Leah. Oh, yeah, well, not the, not the quiver and arrows. That's for me, but... Uh-huh. All uh, that's for uh, it definitely won't fit her perfectly, but it'll get job done. Yeah, we'll uh, worry about it later. And yeah, that's but like you can ask some questions. Uh This bloke's got uh a decent but well trimmed beard. Uh he's super old and grey, wrinkly, pale, pale blue eyes turning grey as well. Super pasty. The court wizard is also super old looking, but he's really tanned, uh, olive skinned, probably from Padstead. Uh, when you threw that cloak down, Sigmund, he like leaned over his desk to look down at it and then started whispering at the Lord. And I was like. <clears throat> I'll dispatch the guard to Mr. Burke's manor to try and confirm all of this. I left a note, by the way. Okay. When? When they were there after you'd left. No. Oh, okay. They went back. After Hence he... the repeated uh, references to the note. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, that note, all right. 
This verse, it intrigues me. You, sir, speak up. What was your business at the Hainuk and the manor? Who is he referring to? Uh, the Verth. The Verth spot. Oh, okay. uh, I, I, I went there with my friends to help them. These are your friends? I kind of squeak in excitement. I have a new friend. <laughs> Ah, yes, there's my friends. I'm traveling with them now. Hmm. Very well. And what do you know of the Hive Earth? Never mind. I, I would like to speak to you later, or after this meeting is concluded, if you would. Escada, hmm. do you back up the comments of the Dothovian? Switch in straight to Tavern. Not in the... Not in the, uh... Enthusiastic and... Excited manner in which they were stated. But yes, the facts of the matter were... Conveyed. Well... Wizards attacked and killed Mr. Burke. And abducted the son of the innkeeper Some... in rescuing him they were slain uh, oh so... yeah and there was a weird homunculus thing too homunculus yeah I think it's about was... math wrong here <laughs> it was ugly um... could I sing about it so basically kill my nuts if you like if you got a song about how that thing killed your nuts you can start singing it to this lord he'll start singing his confrontation and how much pain it brought to his nether nation that is a bad role you're lucky you've got such a high singing skill though yeah it's an automatic fail at least <laughs> it was a bunch of bad puns but eventually they were allowed for some reason he, he cuts you off. Bef like You get a couple of verses in and it's like, a, a great song, Ursrid. Yes. But for now, if you could keep your statements short and to the point, I'd like to hear from your jester that you've dressed I will in, not, with I a will sword. Tr I will change the uh, wording for when I translate to Jakku. Yeah, you understood. He called you a clown. <laughs> he will immediately say, Do not be fooled by their appearance, my lord. Uh, how many guards were in the room? Uh, there are like, uh, five, four guards, captain of the guard, uh, Escada, lord, court wizard, two other miners. People don't do anything. So that's like don't do ten people total, five of which are guards. Uh, uh, maybe he has bad temper. Two are armed with pikes. I do not have bad temper. Three are armed with swords. If he if he had bad temper, apparently he doesn't. But if he had it, he would have to make a self control roll and retaliate in either a verbal inst or, or by violence, whatever's easier. <laughs> Uh, he says in Usagi first, uh, I am no jester. And then, uh, no, he says that. Hold on. He attempts to say it in Methan. He says in Methan, I am no jester. Oh. Lord. Yeah, he totally chopped a dude's head off. So did I. So special. One of these wizards, I hope, and not a citizen of my lands. Yeah, a wizard. Or the evil wizards. Mm-hmm. Yes. I've 
we've received reports of this group in particular, and someone had run down and grabbed that cloak and brought it up to him. And he Gotta gestures. have it back once he's done with it. Uh, do you ask that? Are you asking that? Oh, yeah. Is... <clears throat> we would rather keep it ourselves. Honestly, what... What use do you have of it? This exact In use that I'm using right now. Showing people. But keep well, it if you Get another like. one! I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I do not understand Buddy Talk. He's got mm -hmm. Methan on him for like 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and I'll look over at the two or at the three people uh who were the lookouts like that's what happened right guys we weren't at the manor but that mm, covers everything we saw yes mr burke rode in clearly grievously injured he expired before our eyes and rose again as a dead man but with a demon's energy to fight if it weren't for the usagi gestures at James, Jakku, then we may well have suffered grievous injury in that tavern. But he dispatched the lurid corpse rather quickly. And the Lord's just like nodding. He likes hearing a white man tell him the business. <laughs> compared to... <laughs> yeah looking at the group. S Sigmund's there, but uh, I, I don't know. He's... Sigmund's not a very uh, charming Off, off his head's shaved. He's got a tattoo. He's all... Like... Charisma? What's charisma? <laughs> there you go. I have no diplomacy. <laughs> uh, but... <clears throat> okay, very well. Uh, but moving on. Are you free to speak openly, Verth, amongst your peers, regarding the issue of the High Ones? Uh, yes. Yes, noble woman lord. Very good. Uh, so... You've, you came from a deep colony, correct? Have you encountered any High Verth on your travels here? Um, not for the past few years, no. But you're familiar with their physiology, behavior? Yes. Uh, blip, 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 blip. Met them in the past, maybe a few decades ago. Not very good company. Rather. Well... One of my stagecoaches was attacked last month. There have also been several children go missing when playing in the fields outside of town. I suspect the High Earth are also related to that in some way, although I haven't ruled out other factors just yet. But I believe my men and the mercenary group that I have Prokaiad would be very much grateful from help from any Verthan that could provide it. What did he seem to mean when he said other factors like body language? Uh, Tabra is suspicious. Uh, he... I'm not sure what you'd be able to get from him. Like, is the guy, like, racist against no other non-humans as well? Uh, no. It's, it's not. not. Mushrooms, then it must be the bears, and if it's not the bears, then it's the bunnies, if it's not the bunnies, then it's the short shadow people. No, no, it, it's not like that. It's more like, uh, this town might have a bit of a pedo problem or something. There is angry about, as you would be. Well, that derailed things fast, didn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so has everyone. 
But you Would know. that change up really fast? Don't apologize, it's a story. Who cares? <laughs> but yes. We could see to it that you'd be well rewarded, as befits the services you'd be able to provide. Um, we've discovered a cave in the hills to the east that we think they're using. Let me get to the GM layer and move that to land. And it is about 70 knobs to the east. Uh, entrance to a deep cave system that they've tracked Hive Earth coming and going from. Uh, they are sending them. We are sending a mercenary group to investigate this. But no one. There's no Verth among them. Uh, it's so, likely to be uh, one of their colonies there. Sorry, I, I think I got something confused. You said. Or somebody assumed they were high birth, but there are no birth among them? No, no, the mercenaries that we have sent have no birth among them. Ah, sorry. They're all humans and Ursrin. Are you a fighter? The one who sang? He's looking at your axe. He, he will look at the axe and say, Ah, that is bass. I'm more of a singer, my lord. I only use this for tempo. Hmm. I would sing for you if you wish, my I'm, I'm Sorry. fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you with the sword. There are several people here with a sword. It's pointing at anger. you. <laughs> <laughs> Just all of you. Would you be willing to... You've already helped me with this evil wizard problem that was on my doorstep. I have come across these robed fellows before. They were one of the suspected culprits in the recent missing children case. Yeah, they seem to be, to be kidnapping children. I saw the posters. Can I get an IQ roll to remember the size of the um, skeletons? The skeletons. The burnt skeletons. Oh. Uh, yeah, they were only one there. It was adult human. Okay. Tabru says nothing. Okay. I mean, what's the reward for doing the mm, taking care of business? <laughs> I'm not sure how much mercenary work pays. Probably a fair bit. I'd have to look that up. But I'd also grant you lands in the town to use as you will. Let's see to it that you're treated as such properly. Uh, are you still translating, Tara? Yeah. Uh... I'm going to point at that ro robe and say, I would like information about who the they are. Colonel, I will add uh, please and thank yous to whenever I translate. <laughs> okay. Uh... <clears throat> we do have some information on these. If you would, uh, Vizier. Um, he points over. This person's got a name. I can tell you his name. Vizier Audemar. Vizier Audemar. Tell him what we know of this Dynamis cult. And he'll be like, <clears throat> uh, Yes. Uh... Based in Wretch, formed several thousand years ago. They believe in bringing about an apocalypse. Uh, they see 
unmagical peoples as tools only to be used. Uh, very strange for them to be been sighted here. Twice in such a short period of time, they've never really been seen outside of Wretchen before. Uh, what? What? Uh, are there any cults that would be very similar to them with a different sigil and then explain the other sigil that I saw? Uh, give me an IQ to try and remember it. On the nose. The wizard is like, hmm. What you're describing sounds like another Dynamis sigil related not to the constellation but to another part. You do not have anything bearing that mark with you. Shake my head. Hmm. Wasn't in the diary, was it? Hmm. Actually, yeah. Uh, I don't even need you to roll because of your stupid high IQ. <laughs> and I wasn't a book, right? Uh, no, not that you could see. I'll go. Oh, uh, give me. Uh, yeah, one sec. Can I run off and fly off, and I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> well, I'll come back with the book, but you guys can role play. And the, like a couple minutes it takes. Not even it going to do anything. But what say you? Will you aid me in this cause? I could provide you with supplies, everything you'll need. I'll need information. Timber's gonna look to Jakku. Timber's so, on. Uh, Timber's on gap here. He's doing whatever. I'll look back over at Tabra. No kiss. Sir, I didn't mean to interrupt. I, Simon, I was um, reaching for the button as you started. No, it's okay. Sigmund was saying he'll help, but he'll need numbers, he'll need information and anything he could use to help us here. Yeah, he'll, he'll help. Very good. You should speak. I think. Go on. Ja Jaku will agree. Vordio. I shall assist as well. I reappear with a book. With the book. Yep, yeah, you're flipping through that diary of Ratto. Ratto's diary, and you, you come across it. The other sigil. And I will show it. Mm hmm. I've not got a picture to show to people right now, but behold it. And the Grand Wizard's like, I would very much like to see that book, if you would, to transcribe it, if possible. I already read the whole thing, right? Y yeah. <laughs> I have speed reading. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you rolled speed yeah. reading. Well, uh, I get, had time in the cart, too, but given... Um, I'll... I'll... I'll let him borrow it. Okay. Yeah. I think... I mean... This, you'll be here all day, I think, probably, at this keep, answering questions I mean, and stuff. Yeah, you can borrow, but I mean, like, I wouldn't... It would be nice if I could get a... Uh, maybe help on a loan, but, you know. Get a little what? Sorry? Uh, you know, I've been helpful. We've been good. I, I could, might want a little bit of a loan. Oh, oh I see. Loan? You mean payday? Advance? Not back. Advance, you mean? In advance, yeah. I'll be able to provide you with any necessary gear. And oh. I'll cover the cost of supplies for the journey, of course. And I could provide you with mounts should you need them. All the people who can't ride horses are all just like shuffling the feet, 
pretending that they can, but not saying anything. <laughs> uh, I don't ride horses, but I, I yeah. grab on to people who can. <laughs> you just grab a horse's tail and off you go. <laughs> I also don't ride horses. I also don't ride horses. Also. I I also don't ride horses. Tara, Actually, the player, rides horses. Oh, I want to ride a horse. But I was darn. I was hoping to get a loan so I could buy some gold so I could make a. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, no, he's he's not gonna cover the cost of you making a fancy jewelry thing. <laughs> Bud's gonna raise his hand. Yes, Verth. Uh, how does the Lord wishes us to deal with this, uh, with the High Bird? We seek uh, recovery of our taxes. Uh, they stole a thousand crowns. Along with justice for the men killed. <coughs> You're, uh, you've I... shown honor today in coming to me with Burke, all of you. And that's why I believe I could trust you on this, at least more than the wardens who I've hired to go out there. They're 50 strong and hoping to mount an assault on the caves. We know the Verth don't have numbers in excess of a hundred. And they're split up and aren't aware of the Warden's presence yet, we've been told. But this news is two days old now. I see. And he kind of lowers his head a bit. I feel they would fare much better with the knowledge of uh, one of your kind amongst them. I will uh, look over at um, Spot and fart some noises that say, I'll try talking to him first. You what some noises? Fart up some noises. Uh, <laughs> birth sounds, about, sounds like... <laughs> yeah. Uh, he will reply back in Burton. Uh, okay, uh, I just don't want to be involved in a massacre. They have children there. That's Same it. as these. I'll not be part of murder. You just heard them fart at each other. But good to know, Jakku. Well, you know. Mm -hmm. Of the innocent. Uh, we've been... I was gonna say, it's a little oh. bit too late to not get involved in murder. <laughs> Mr. Tracking a Kill Count? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking burn. <laughs> That's fair. But yes... So this is all great, great news, honestly. I'm very pleased that you've decided to do this for me. Uh, but I think we, we've we been going for three hours. This might be a good time to call it if some of you uh, need to get off I, I did want to do a little bit of shopping, but... Mm -hmm. It'd be a good time to stop. Yeah, I think, I think this would, it'd be a good time to stop streaming. It'd be a good time to wind down, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the only thing I'm going to mention that might be for people's imaginations is I will be buying um, some clothes for the former slaves. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh... I thought you were going to buy cute tiny clothes for the rock. What? I, have, I already have a pair of warm weather clothing. Yeah, yeah but I thought you were going to buy like baby clothes for the rock. And it was going to be adorable. I have to get <laughs> clothing custom made. Uh -huh. Don't you all? Around here, except for yeah. Sigmund. Uh, yeah, except, except for me and Lee. Mm -hmm, pretty much. Uh, but yeah. Uh, uh, so we're gonna 
we're going to call it here. Uh, this was Shards of the Void, uh, Fantasy Adventure in GURPS 4th Edition. I was Luke the GM. I was Orn, uh, also known as Tara in real life. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at Jade Gear and read a comic that I make uh, that has other adventures from another GURPS game we play in uh, at nirvanacomic.com. We had the lovely Simon as Sigmund. Hi, that's me. I'm Simon. I played Sigmund. You can find me by going to your mirror, shattering it, and then throwing the glass outside of the window. <laughs> it that works. is the only way to contact me anywhere else. You will not get any response. Works every time, though. Oh, uh, it does. As Jacku, we had James. Thanks for watching. <laughs> the, you... Simon's more accessible than me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ulrich. Thank you, my friends, for watching. As played I by... I am ever. Ever. <laughs> Tabura. I'm Jared. I play Tabura. And um, the mirror thing doesn't work for me. Because uh, of the no reflections it thing. Oh, it, it's because of the no yeah. reflections thing. Mm. That'll do it. And finally, uh, oh, I've not said his full name today, so let me give him a proper outroduction. Yeah. Obscuro Coxineus Cornucopioides Algano Viridescens Tremolo Dendro Spotistro Bylamyces was played yeah, by Z Warrior. That's me. Yeah. Yep. An actual Z Warrior we've got in this party. You should be jealous. Like save the world, solve the cell crisis, all that shit. But, bye, thanks for watching. Yep. Bye, everyone. Everyone say bye at the same time. And Terra, you've not been tracking his fuck counter. I'm disappointed. Oh, I have actually, and you just won. Um, Woo! Uh, with that, with time. that, uh, Sigmund today had five f bombs. Luke just hit six. Oh, uh, suck James, it. James had two, and Ev had one, and myself, and. Uh, actually, and, uh, and the rest had zero. Nerd alerts. Oh, fuck. Hey, oh, yeah, that's kind of fucking lame. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, fucks. Thanks for fuck. watching, everyone. We'll be back uh, <laughs> next week at this fuck. fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Jesus.